Roll. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Your regularly scheduled nonsense stream will not be seen tonight so that we can bring you NCAA March Madness. And I need everybody in Bad Dogs chat, everybody that was with me earlier that came over, I want to say thank you to you guys. Everybody in the chat, stand up, Hoops fans. Are you ready, Bad Dog? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. First of all, let me just say this. You have done a phenomenal job the last two days calling those games, my man. Phenomenal. I appreciate phenomenal. It. Hard-working guy. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, yeah absolutely awesome. Yeah, I'm, I, 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 I had to drink a couple of Red Bulls. I took an hour nap, and I said, I'm ready to go. I got to go on with the bad D-O, bad, bad D-O double G. So yes. So I'm ready to go. I'm ready to call some games with you. We're going to start up with the North Carolina game, and we're going to yes. work our way from there. Yes, absolutely. I can't wait for Sunday. Sundays are a little, are a little pre, like our warm up to the Dream Stream Dream Team thing. That might be the main you, event. That's like twelve hours of streaming. Right, but I'm saying that. Well, that's true. That's a lot of streaming we're gonna do Sunday. But it's good. We'll get through it. We're we're a couple of hardworking guys. Dilly Dilly, I know your beers are cooling down. Dilly, yes, I got dilly, beers dilly. in the fridge. I'm cooling them down. Dilly Dilly. Oh, you got a super chat? I think my chat's behind you. You got a super chat? Mm, where? Oh no, you said dilly dilly. I thought that's what that meant. Oh no, I was saying oh, dilly dilly. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was saying dilly dilly you, right? Let's, let's say hello to people in the chat, by the way. Sexy Goat, Nick Howard, Goat Quan, Noah Kale, Chuck Shards, Melon, G Z S W Sports. Thank you to everybody for popping in. Madison McEwen is here. Landon, Chuck Shards. I saw about James Fevolo is in the house. Pigskin Pete's here, David Tarr. One giant rebuttal is in the house. Always like to shout him. I'll go over there and show one giant rebuttal. Some love. Royal Loyals is here. Jeremy Hands, man. I see Scott Thomas. Of course, my man Bobby Woodruff is here. Dire Giants fan is here. A Fizz is in the house. Omkar is here. Satan is in the house. Cooper is here. Joe Musa is in the house. Timothy Lavornoy is here. Alex Sports. I think that covered them all. Now, quite a pretty good crowd here. I want to see if our chats are lined up because I feel like you were way ahead of me. I see. Last person I see is Alex Sports. That's the one I see. The okay. bad dog. Okay, we're good then. We're good then. We're good. Then. Okay. By the way, I have something here tonight. What do we got? And you know, yeah, I went to look for the orange vanilla coke, and I they don't have it. <laughs> okay, I couldn't find. Okay. However, oh, there's there's one right there. You're talking. I still haven't finished it. By the way, he's talking about this. Oh my god. Dilly dilly pig skin. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Thank you so much. Uh, one John Rebuttal. Thank you guys so much for the super chat. Thank you dilly so dilly. much. Said, Buy a vanilla orange coke. I couldn't find one, pig skin Pete. <laughs> dilly dilly. My two dilly favorite. Dilly. Thank you, one John Rebuttal. Appreciate it. Dilly dilly, yes, guys. We appreciate it. And uh, Bad Dog looking so, outstanding tonight, Chuck Short says. All right. So instead of a orange coke, look at what I got. Oh, we got a cannoli. Look at what I got! Cannoli, are you kidding me? <laughs> I got a freaking cannoli. You got my mouth water in here. Oh my the god, that looks amazing. Cannoli. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the best thing ever made. Oh, you cannot beat right. that. You cannot beat that. This is the best thing ever made. Just, I got one. Just I, a, uh, horn honk. I think you got a new uh, person, a new joiner of the channel there. Where's that? Somebody just hon honked the horn outside. Oh, nice. Thank you for joining the channel. Really appreciate it. I got one for you too. Oh my God! Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. If only I could transfer that through the screen, I would definitely do it for you. <laughs> definitely. Be beans are better. Chuck Short said. Jeremy says, "What's a Chuck, cannoli?" They are. There's, there's definitely more protein uh, in that than there is in one of those. Jeremy but, Freeman says, "What's a cannoli?" Get him out of here. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Get sex to go out of here. He said, "Yuck a cannoli." <laughs> you don't like cannoli. There's something wrong with your taste buds. I agree with that. There's no doubt there, about those, it. Those are amazing. Look, Amazing. It's, look, it's a mini. Oh, he's talking about the little screen there. I don't know. The new Skype, it has yeah. my picture and yours for some reason. I don't know how to get rid of it, but it is what it is. So yeah. there's a little mini Tana in the top right corner. Yeah. I saw that. I've been seeing that in your in your streams. Yeah, it's the new Skype. I don't know who did that one, Jar, but it happened before we even went live today. <laughs> Someone disliked it. I was like, all right. I think Texas Liberty even put in there. Who the hell comes in here before just to hit the thumbs down? Uh, a troll. I, 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 I hate her. People hate on you. It's it's all you know. You're doing something right when people hate. Yeah, exactly. You know that's how you know you're doing something right because they can't. You know some people get upset because they can't do what you do and they. You know it's just how they. That's how they take it. Jack vegetables in the house. He retracted. It's all right if you smell. You hit the F and said it a G. I fat finger the keyboard all the time, Jack. All the time. 
do it all the time. What's going yes, on, Connor? Nick Cow- said the Cannoli Brothers, the Rope Chain Mafia, the Paisan Pimps. <laughs> <laughs> the Paisan Pimps. <laughs> did you just make that up or did somebody say that in the chat? I didn't oh, see- Nick Howard. Nick Howard. I was reading his comment. Oh, there. was it from earlier? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, new, new Skype makes me look like a young Leonardo DiCaprio. Nice. <laughs> Johnny Morowski in the house. What's going on, my man? What Says, is up, Johnny? Quentin David said he was, wow, I got 30 likes already. Awesome. That's good. And yeah. By the way, you know what I've been hearing a lot lately? I don't know if, I don't think you can pick it up on the on the uh, microphone. But I got trains been going by a lot lately. So I'm like, oh, a whole slew of joiners. <laughs> in <their channel." laughs> oh, you got train tracks over there? Yeah, a little bit behind the woods uh, where I live, I guess. I don't really know where the hell they are, but I hear it. Um, uh, what's up, Afghanistan? I Chad Warren is in the house. He said, let's go Duke. I am not doing Skype tonight, Bobby, because I have the entertainer on. So uh, no Skype during halftime uh, this game. But uh, it's the Godfathers, uh, says uh, Bavith. Bavith, love Bavith. What's going on, Bavith? How you doing, my man? And Johnny Murawski. I just want to say good luck with your move. I saw on Twitter he said he's moving to uh, Las Vegas. Nice. Yeah. And I see Pig Venus is here. Uh, that's HTTR's other channel. He says put him in the bathroom. <laughs> put him in the bathroom. Gus is the real good fellas. What's up, Gus? What's up, Gus? How you doing, my man? Uh, no, it's all good. Oh, Smash Talk. Thank you so much for the super chat. He says, Mr. Bad Dog, hope you live stream tonight. He's as good as the entertainers was today. Great job, Chris. Thank really you. Really appreciate Dilly, that. Dilly Dilly. Thank you very much. I'm going to try, you know. What can I say? Listen, one thing I can tell you is I bring uh, I bring a lot of energy to the table. I think it's just an Italian thing. We both bring a lot of energy. <laughs> I mean, you guys know what my call is, right? Every time I get excited. Oh! I, <laughs> <laughs> I get you guys clay over here. I see Anthony Cross said he came over here. I appreciate that. Thank you. He was in my yes, stream today. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you for I coming appreciate. on over. I appreciate that very much. A fizzle Tar Heels should win at least by 30. Yeah. Sure. Well, we're not just doing this game. We're going to flip. It's like the red zone of NCAA basketball. Yeah. We're yeah. going to start with the 116. We're going to move to the better games if it's a blowout. Right. Yeah. Well, let's do a little UNC. And then, like you said, we'll, we'll move around as it goes. Mississippi State up by 10. It's good. We both picked Mississippi State. Bread Dog brings more energy. Little guys doesn't have enough. <laughs> yeah, but Bavito Bavit always thinks I'm like, like I'm this midget. He always goes, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's like his joke. That, that's like his Bavit. joke. <laughs> yeah, what is the same height? I'm 5'11". I think I got a bitch or something. Yeah, yeah. You save your energy for, you know, well, you should. I don't, I mean, I have a ton of energy. I mean, I don't sleep. We all know I don't sleep. Uh, Pigs can I, I I've gone on Pigs can Pete's channel a few times. He was in my live stream today. I just want to say thank I you for that. He was, he was pretty I active there. A lot. Yeah. And, uh, but every time I go on his channel, he's talking about sex. And, uh, you know what? I, I appreciate that. I, I do, I do appreciate a good man who could talk about sex. Yeah. Well, he's a young guy. I mean, yeah. I remember those days. <laughs> Chuck says I look 6'4". Thank you. I'm not close to that. I wish I was. Thomas Guthrie says Duke. I, I think a lot of guys have Duke winning this whole thing. They were actually close at halftime, and then Zion took over. Do you got you got Duke winning? Yes. Yeah, I do too. I got Duke as well. Yep, I got Duke winning. Booger uh, McFarland think, in the house. Booger, what is up, Booger? David Mike. Uh, I believe uh, someone said earlier I'm De Niro. He's Pacino. <laughs> but it don't really matter. You can switch him around. It's it's all good. The games are starting about. Probably soon. It should be starting at nine ten. I thought. No, nine twenty. But oh, nine twenty. Yeah, but they, oh, that's right. But they right. always People push them live at nine ten. They always push them back because the other games run a little later. Right, right. Yeah. Troy Fled is in the house. I love Troy. Troy Him and I see I in the Knicks all the time. Troy, did you? What did you think about? Uh, he says the uh, Duke won't even make the Final Four. It's possible. Uh, I mean, they're inexperienced. Taylor's right. in the house. She says my two favorite guys. What's up? Thank you so much What's for up, stopping, Taylor. Taylor? She was in my stream earlier. I appreciate that. I know. So was Troy. I was, listen, I was in your, I was in your stream at work today. I was sneaking in there at work. Oh, I know you were. I know. I know you. Yeah, were. I was in there as much as I could today. No, no, no I know. So, I saw you the whole time, of course. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was great. But uh, what was I going to say there? Uh, but, 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 but Smash Talk says I just want to see an upset tonight. Well, listen, when Virginia, I have Virginia going. Well, I have them out in the Elite Eight. But when Virginia was losing to Gardner Webb, oh, I was hoping like hell Virginia lost again. I thought it would have been hilarious. They were down by 12 points at the, in the first half at one point. 14, I think. 14, they're not, was it 14? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I can jump higher than Zion anymore. I, I might have been my day. Mutt Gods is in the house. How you doing, Mutt Gods? Thank you for joining the stream. Midwest Sports is here as well. Yeah, I could uh, give you, I, I could give you um, uh, Chuck uh, asked for a Coke or Pepsi. I could give you um, about 
three ounces of an orange vanilla Coca-Cola that is probably flat as hell because it's been open since about noon today. But if you want that, Chuck, I can give you that. Yeah. But Bobby, I don't know what the hell an egg cream is. What the hell's an egg cream? Yeah, I don't know. He said that to me today earlier and I, I didn't know what it meant either. I just said oh. I just I just went along with it. Well I can't do it from here. Oh yes I can. Bye, buddy. What Take, happened? What happened? Get the shovel. Take the shovel. You're done. Who'd you give the shovel to? Pets for life. I don't even know why I bother with this guy. <laughs> eh, seriously. Just just hide him. What I ate for dinner, I had some, I had some pizza, Taylor. I live on... <laughs> Pig Venus is bad. I never sleeps. Lives off rolled golds and Stella's and has a 5 o'clock shadow at 9 a.m. all while staying in shape. <laughs> it's a rough balance. <laughs> It's Corona tonight. This is my last one. I didn't get any beer. I gotta drink. Uh, I gotta drink iced tea for the rest of the night. I got a couple of beers in the fridge. I'll be getting to that probably in about a half hour. Yeah. Oh, Johnny, thank you so much for the super chat, my man. Dilly dilly. dilly, John dilly. Husky with a super chat. He says if the Knicks get the second pick, which oh my God, yes, John Moran is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. John, John Moran. I mean, what he did uh, this week was just ridiculous. Um, yesterday, rather. Um, yeah. I'd be completely fine with him with the second pick. If we get in the top three, we're going to get either Zion, John Morant, or um, Barrett. I'm happy with any one of those three. I think I'd have Morant second, though, firmly second. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I'm saying yeah. if we're top three, we're going right, to get right, one. Right, 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 yeah. Delano is in the house. What's going on, Delano? Delano? How you doing, buddy? What's going on? 21 Savage Juniors in the house. Quentin David says, dilly dilly, boys. Dilly dilly to you, Quentin David. Oh, the sports series in the house. What up? Someone passed me a damn beer. You ain't drinking this. <laughs> you ain't drinking this. I got this beers in the fridge. Josh. I got beers in the fridge, but I could give you an orange. I know it's it's uh, almost done, but I give you an orange vanilla Coke, Josh. I had it today. Josh, jo Josh, you ever had one of these? You ever had a cannoli? Of course he's had a cannoli. Some guys ain't had a cannoli. He better have had a cannoli. I mean, what's going on? Nobel Peace Prize losers. That's one of my favorite names on here. Uh, Corona is a great beer. I drink it in the summer. It's summer in a bottle. <laughs> was the Coke good? I was. I'd give it like a six and a half. I looked for the Coke. I couldn't find it. Yes, it does, Johnny Morowski. And that may be an excuse for me to go to Vegas. I always like how, excuses to go. How many games have been played, Chris? Twenty four. No. Uh, Twenty eight. Yeah, 28. Well, I, I think the other games aren't quite over yet, but when they're over, it'll be 28. All right. So if Mississippi State holds on, Michael, I'll be 23-5 and five through the first 28 games. That's pretty damn good. 23-5. and five. Wisconsin's the one Sweet 16 team that I lost. I, think I had Kansas uh, State lose in Wisconsin, so. I think I'll be 22-6. and six. Yeah. The schedule for tomorrow, well, that's going to be tough, Taylor, because he works. And I got a lot of family stuff to do. I may be home by 7 to do the 7 o'clock and 9 o'clock games. I'm hoping, but I, d I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to take tomorrow off. I might do a call. I don't blame you, bro. You, I'm you probably have taking it in off. Work. Yeah, I think I'm going to take tomorrow work. off. You put in work. You need a day off. Yeah. <laughs> and and then you got you got to rest up for Sunday, brother. That's great. Yeah, I'm, just I'm, take, I'm taking tomorrow off. Yeah. <laughs> we got a, we got a long day ahead of us yeah. on Sunday. <laughs> Long day. We are guys. We are streaming every game on Sunday. Half will be on my channel. Half will be on his. We don't know. We don't know the schedule yet. But half's gonna be on mine. Half's gonna be on his. Right. So you will not want to miss that. Definitely uh, not. And you're gonna get to see how we function for 12 hours straight. That is gonna be insane. It is gonna be insane. <laughs> well, we did a Super Bowl. That was like eight hours. Yeah, you're right. It was eight. But I'm making sure I bring food with me this time. <laughs> I'm living on beer like I did for the Super Bowl. I couldn't get a damn pizza place. They're all closed around me. <laughs> Matt Freeman, what's going on? What do you think about Duke? I have them winning. Tana has them winning. I got Duke winning. Yeah, Kentucky in the finals. Duke, Kentucky, I got. Jack Vegetable says that I buy more beer than I can drink. Well, pass some this way, Jack. I only got this one. This is my last one. Alex Murphy says we're crazy. <laughs> Mississippi State's in trouble. They were just up by 10. Let me flip the channel. You know what, you get, what, uh, what channel that's on? No. There they are. They're on at CBS. CBS. Oh, they're only up, they're up. Well, they're up. They're up three. No, they're showing updates on CBS. It's on TNT. Oh. So. No, I'm on TNT. That's North Carolina. Oh yeah. TBS. Maybe it's TBS. No, nope, that's Georgia State and Houston. So it's True TV then. 
All right, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, they're up by three. Wow. You should call, you should change the title. We should call the end of this game. You'll get a lot of people in here. All right, let's change it. Might as well. Yeah. All right. So what is this? I don't know the the Mississippi State. I don't know the name of the teams though. <laughs> Mississippi State versus Liberty. So I don't need M I S S I P P M I S S I S S I P P I. Yeah. All right. Is that all I got to do? Is just hit that? Does it change automatically? Oh, yep. Changes are being saved. Perfect. Yeah, and then we'll go. We'll, all right. And then we'll head back to the North Carolina game as soon as it's over. North Carolina right. is pushed back to uh, 930 anyway. Well, it's right, about, to start, about to start. But. So here we go. Let's get ready. Dilly dilly, Mississippi State and Liberty. Here we Mississippi go. It's up 63 to 53 the last time I saw it. Are we, so, are we synced up? I got, I got them moving the ball around right now. I got them taking the ball out of bounds. Okay, I'm well ahead of you. He just went across midcourt. It's weird how yeah. this works. Yeah. I won't say anything. Your your TBS for three in and out. You want me? You want to take? You want, you want me to take over for this one since I'm ahead, and then you, you'll yeah, do. Go ahead, go ahead. All right. Here comes Liberty. Is it 67-64? Liberty trails by three. They spin the ball around. It's about four ten to go here. Backs his man down with the left hand. Spins with the right, and no good. Rebound, Mississippi State. Number 12, Liberty, trails by three here as they try to upset number five, Mississippi State, Cinderella. Zero wow, points over the last... Way ahead of me. Yeah, I'm like 15 seconds, so I'm like, I might as well... Yeah. Get, so th those people probably be synced up with me better, so... Here comes right. Mississippi State as they swing it. It's a deep three off the backboard. Liberty grabs the rebound. 3.42 to go, and Liberty will bring it up. Nine seconds ahead of me. Yeah. <laughs> It is what it Which is. It's funny because TBS, I'm way ahead of you. It's weird. Yeah, it's crazy. Nice pass and the stuff. 67-66. Liberty trails by one. 325 to go. Holmesley stuffs at home. We got a good game here, man. Wow. We? That was a great backdoor pass right there. Nice cut to the hoop. And here comes Liberty. They were on a 7-0 run, which is what they're displaying right now. Oh, no, they are on a 7-0 run, rather. They just had that stuff. Mississippi State spins it around. Down, uh, up one. Goes to the left, and he is stuffed as he tries a three-pointer. Liberty comes down with the rebound. They have a chance to take the lead with three minutes to go. And oh. they, Yeah, you just saw it? <laughs> yeah, three is blocked. Yeah. And they bring it up. He sets up the offense, 250 to go. Crossover dribble, gets it to the lane, nearly stolen, gets the ball back. 14 seconds on the shot clock. And they spin the ball around. Good defense, man-to-man -man by Mississippi State. Eight on the shot clock, around the pick, shoots a three, splash, what a shot, well contested three, 69-67, Liberty leads and they're going crazy, 2.34 to go. They are going crazy. Newton is jumping all over the place. We got a timeout on the floor, oh, we got a good game here, bad dog. Yeah, we do have a good game, I wish I wasn't nine seconds behind you, which is just strange, because like I said, with TBS, I'm like nine seconds ahead of you. <laughs> I, would, I mean, for the rest, I'll try to sync it up, but I just figure people come yeah. in for our last two minutes. It's better so to good. be in sync with them so they stay with the chat. Raphael, those are my two favorite decades, 60s and 80s. But I'd pick 80s because I grew up in that in that era. I well, I grew up in that era. But what's, what's up, Sarah? How you doing? What's going on, Bobby? What's going on, Alex? What's going on, Sarah? Thank you to every. Oh, Joe, let's just call this his bastards. What's yeah, up, you Joe? know. <laughs> Here you go, Joe. Dilly dilly. My can only I love Joe Lutz. Oh, Joe Lutz is awesome. Um, bad dog, 60s or 80s music? Yeah, I like, I like I said, I love them both. They're my favorite decades, but 80s because I grew up in the 80s. Master says Liberty has some balls to take that shot. Well, they got nothing to lose, you know. It's kind of crazy. Jesse says, let's go UNC. We're going to get to that game once this one is over, Jesse, because this is actually a very good game going on right now between Liberty and Mississippi State. When we turned this before, I saw Mississippi State was up by 10. We turn it on, they're up by three, and now Liberty's ahead by a deuce. Yeah, this would be one of the biggest upsets of the tournament, so it's a good game to call. At the end yeah, so so far the um, – oh, God, who the hell beat Kansas State? Uh, today the big the 13th seed won today. Um, who was it? Oh, uh, the, uh, the, team, the team from California. UC Irvine. Yeah, UC, yeah, UC Irvine, yeah. I picked Mississippi State, Omkar. Yeah, so did I. So did I. Irvine busted you. How far did you have Kansas State going, Master? Cushmaster in the house. Master and Cushmaster back-to-back. -back. Blue Collar Northwest did the Ducks. 
Hopefully, no stupid timeouts by Liberty. You said, did you see that game yesterday? Were you in my stream when that happened? There was I don't even remember which game it was. Um, there was 2.5 seconds left. They're shooting free throws, and they're down two. The other team shoot the team up by two shooting free throws. Yeah. They miss the first, and they call a timeout. And I start screaming at the TV. I said, you have no timeouts left now, so if they miss the free throw, you can't set up a play. Right. And the coach called a timeout. Sure enough, they missed the free throw, and the game ends. Like, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's, that is stupid. Yeah, I mean, because you could take a timeout either way after he yeah. makes the free throw, or why would he take one? At yeah, and weird. if he, and if he misses it, you grab the rebound, call a quick timeout, right, so you can start right, the right. play. Yeah. yeah, that's not not smart. Can't believe Cincinnati. Dilly dilly DWG. He's in the house. DWG is a big pimp. Uh, Giants Nation says I can't believe Cincinnati. I didn't have Cincinnati today. Uh, yeah, I think I'm twenty. I'm. Like I said, I'm 22 and five, depending on what happens with this game. Right now, I'd be 22 and six. Yeah, and I'd be 21 and seven. Yeah. Yeah. These mayhem commercials are pretty stupid. Most of the commercials are stupid if you think about it. It, it just, you know, it's dumb. Yeah. Yeah. That guy. That guy. Um. He's in all those commercials. That guy. Yeah. And he, he's from uh, what TV show? Uh, Oz, I think. Oh, I don't even know. Yeah, I got yeah. well, I got well. There's my big upset in the first round. I had St. Louis beating uh, Virginia Tech. And here's Mississippi State. They bring it up. Works around a pick. Two twenty-seven to go. Gets it down low to the big fellow. He's double teamed, and he's gonna be fouled on the floor. I'm not sure if it was before the shot or not. That's gotta be. He's gotta be going to the line, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Looks yeah, like yeah, he's going to the line. Because I was thinking maybe they fouled him when he was spinning, but. What's up, fat man? How you doing? Thank you for joining the stream, my man. Yes, yeah, a lot of crappy commercials. Second place for Bad Dog in the CBS League, followed by DWG. Nice. First free throw, no good. Back rimmed it. I don't know how the hell I ended up in second place. My guys are losing, I guess, today. Big Blue Racket Crew says, got to sing for us. I'll try. I don't have much of a voice left, but I will try at some point. Oh, God, they want you to sing already. <laughs> Second free throw, splash. 69-68, 2.23 to go. Uh, great call there, um, Blue Collar Northwest. His commercials are typically uh, irrelevant to the point they're pitching. Very true. Liberty Very will bring it up. Um, up one here, 2.16 to go. And they come out of man-to-man. -man. Liberty up one, trying to pull a big upset here, 12 over 5. They set up the offense. Goes with his left around the pick. 12 on the shot clock. Nice pass off to the right sideline. Pulls up. Float air is no good. Back rimmed it. Rebound Mississippi State. Minute 56 to go. They trail by one with the ball. Oh, yeah. And here we go. They set up the offense. 20 on the shot clock. Spinning the ball around. There's been a scoring drought in this game. One point in the last 422 for Mississippi State. A long three. Back rimmed it. They get their own rebound, and there's going to be a foul on the floor. Oh, I am in first place. I, I, I thought I was. DWG. This is what Mars man. You're damn right, Master. This is what it's all about, man. I can't wait till Sunday, man. I'm excited. <laughs> Every well, game. Fat man, I appreciate that. He says, "Why is it?" I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about me because I'm doing it right now. So I, I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, do me a favor. Call up Fox. Maybe they need a guy. That's why I haven't seen him in a while. But that's that's why. Uh, no, nah, it's all good. DWG. That's why Chris Collinsworth comes into my streams and he's scouting me because he knows Al Michaels <laughs> is retiring eventually. So he scouts. I haven't seen him in a while, though. This uh, this game's on True TV, Chuck. Yeah, True you TV. You only have one loss, Jesse. That's pretty damn impressive. Pretty impressive. And Bad Dog's going to take over for the rest. Hopefully we're in sync so we can play off each other. But um, just figure there's an opportunity. Hopefully we get a rush of people right. down the stretch and they're synced up with us. Well, Six. yeah, if, uh, like, if I'm ahead of you on the other channel, because I think my TBS is way ahead of you. And well, we'll uh, just rewind so we're synced up going forward. If I'm ahead, yeah, 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 yeah. I own is up nine to eight right now. <laughs> wow, that's good. Yeah. We may, hopefully, it's a good game. Um, first free oh. throw is good. We're all tied up at sixty nine. I'm sure the ch chat likes to hear that sixty nine yes. apiece. One thirty seven to go, and Mississippi State takes the lead, seventy to sixty nine. A minute thirty seven to go. Liberty is going to bring it up. Somebody's season is going to be over in a minute and a half. Appreciate that, Sarah. She says you're both awesome and are naturals at it. Thank you. Appreciate that, Sarah. Thank you very much. Liberty sets up the play, 
And they're going to work it around the perimeter. Sets up a pick on the left, get around the screen, still dribbling. And they're going to try a deep three. Got it! Splash! What a shot! Liberty goes up 72-70. A minute 13 to go. And the crowd is erupting. A minute 08 to go. Mississippi State down two with wow. the ball. Crossover dribble gets it to the lane. And they're going to kick it back out and set up the offense. 58 seconds to go. Crossover dribble into the lane. Layup is no good. Tip no good. Rebound Liberty. 53 seconds to go. And he's going to throw it out of bounds. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mississippi State will get the ball. Oh, they call a foul. I think they call a foul. Wow, that was a foul. Wow. Huge call. Huge call right there. Who's got cannolis on deck, Christopher? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Please hit that thumbs up, guys. And he misses the first. Oh, there was a foul. Yeah, he missed the first one. Uh, that's a big miss. Yeah, because they, they can only go by three. A big miss. And he's a 95% free throw shooter on the year. Wow. Ninety-five percent. Holy Jesus! And he hits the second. Seventy-three, seventy-one possession game. Mississippi State's gonna bring it up. They need a three to tie. Plenty of time. They spin the ball around. Works around the screen. Setting up the offense. Yeah, they and they could even go for two. Gonna right try now. a three off the front rim. No good. Liberty rebound. Thirty-nine seconds to go, and it doesn't look like they're fouling yet. There's a ten-second differential between shot and game clock. They haven't fouled. He's gonna go all the way to the rim. And he's fouled. Oh, my God. Look at the size of this guy. He puts Andy Reid to shame. He's going to shoot two at the free throw. I see him. <laughs> this is a good foul. Yeah, good foul. That is a big man. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that is a man. He ain't a college student. That's one of the teachers. <laughs> <laughs> and he's at the line to shoot two. Bends the knees. And the first free throw, swish. How did this guy... Oh, this game's it? over, man. This one's over. Liberty going to pull the upset. This would be a hell of an upset. Second one, in and out. Four-point game. Mississippi State grabs the rebound. Mississippi State... They need a quick basket. And they're out of timeouts. They bring it up between the legs, dribble. Works around a screen, crossover dribble into the lane. And he's fouled. He'll shoot two just off the back rim. Yeah, you don't want to foul if you're miss if you're Liberty because they can take points off the clock with the clocks or t points off the uh, board with the clock stop. If you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to ring that bell and hit that big red button. Yes, thank you. Also, you can definitely go into my description, and the first link in there is the link to the entertainers page. So if you haven't hit the big red button for that man, hit that red button for him. Ring his bell. He loves that. I love, when I, have my bell rung. I love when I have my bell rung. It's the best. It really is the best. 74, She's smelling 70... her fingers. I don't know what's going on there. Marshall Walker says, show the TV. We don't all have true TV. Well, I have two suggestions. Well, no. One, we can't show the TV. We'll be yeah. kicked off of YouTube. And two, you upgrade your cable plan. Or you can watch it on NCAA.com. Yeah. 74, 72, trapped in the corner. He gets out of it, and they're going to bring it up. And they yeah. still haven't fouled. They're they going might... to foul. Oh, they almost had a 10-second violation, but they do foul. 14 seconds to go. Well, these guys got good free throw shooters, man. This guy's an 86% free throw shooter. The other guy's 95. Yeah, that's probably why they're in the tournament. I mean, they, yeah, yeah they, he they, makes both at ease. This is over. Yeah, especially because they can't advance at the half quarter. Uh, right. It's not like the NBA. First free throw, good. 75-72, and the biggest free throw of Cabril Jr.'s life is coming up. Thank you so much for joining Bad Dog's channel. He appreciates yes, thank that. you. I heard that all the way over here. <laughs> and here he goes. Yes. We are switching to the UNC game once this is, uh, once this is over. We're Bend. going right over there. Bends the knees, hits the free throw. 76-72, lets it roll up to half court. He's going to pull up quick three. No good front rim, but there's a there's a foul on the three point shot with eleven wow. seconds to go. Oh my god! Wow, plenty of time now. That's a bad foul. That almost went in. I mean, he allowed him to shoot it. Oh my That's god! Crazy. 
11 foul. In, insane. Let's Big see. Foul. Did he foul? Him? Oh, yeah, he fouled him. No, I mean, that's ticky tack, though. He barely touched him. Iona, Iona's up 15 to 10 early on. Good. Hopefully, we got a good game over there. Yeah, it'd be great. <laughs> First we one. Definitely good. Foul. We definitely have a game here if he hits all three. Yeah. We might get our first overtime. Because then, then Mr. Uh, Liberty can't go up by uh, – they can't go up by more than one possession if he hits all three of these. He missed the second. Missed the second. Well, that kills him. Yeah. Now they need a miss on, on the uh... – now, do you try to miss this on purpose? Is that your best shot here? No, I think you got to try to make it and then foul right away. Hope they miss. And here's the free throw. He got it. 76, 74, 11 seconds to go. They're going to foul him. Nine points, five, uh, seven seconds after the foul. So this will be the game if Cabrillo, who was 86%, he just shot before, could hit yeah, both. Yeah. That's a quick foul, though. Uh, Liberty's up 76 70, uh, 74. That's right. I forgot we don't have a scoreboard on this one. 76 74, Liberty. I don't know who they do this chick as they keep showing. Gotta be the wife and a coach or something. It, Seeing her every damn, uh, every damn stoppage and play. <laughs> she keeps smelling her fingers. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> I haven't oh. seen a uh, orange Coke commercial yet. That's a surprise. Joe Lutz says uh, your boy had a chocolate covered cannoli today, and it was delicious. Yeah, that was the best. Oh. I, I couldn't find a chocolate one. Forget about it. You cannot beat a chocolate yeah, covered. Forget cannoli. about it. Right. Forget about it. Probably, Alex. That's what I was guessing. And what, what's with these clowns they're, on the sideline? They're looking for a flagrant foul? Really? No. Yeah, they gotta be. The, the hell's no, no, the they were looking for the time after the foul, how much would oh. be on the clock. They had, they had a time to the clock. Yeah. They had like a half a second. 10.3 on the clock. Uh, this could be, could be take forever. Yeah. There's only 11 minutes to go in the first half of the UNC game. <laughs> Insane. And Nuts. First, first free throw is good. So if he hits this, game should be over. Yeah. Unless they commit a foul on a three-point play and he hits it. Right. Bends the knees. Free throw is good. 78-74. Let's see what they do. They bring it up quick. Nine, eight, seven. Goes all the way to the rim and misses the... They get the put back. Five seconds to go. Liberty gets it in and that's, that's going to be it. That's it. They're able to dribble out. Oh, no. They called a foul. 3.6 seconds, so if he misses one, it's not over yet. If he, if he makes both, it's over. Yeah. I changed the title. We're just getting ready for here. Yeah, to... yeah. Iona. Iona what? Iona? Iona Gales. Oh, I, Iona Gales, yeah. Well, it's Iona Gales. I'm just saying I own, I own a car. I own a house. I own two cannolis. <laughs> First free throw is good. If he hits this, we could put it on ice and head over to North Carolina. Yes. Uh, yes, I am, Red Fox. And good. Game over. We All right. We go to with TNT. So Liberty with an enormous upset. Although yeah. I think a lot of people had Liberty in that game. Yeah, that seemed to be a popular pick by a lot of people. I got a commercial right now on TNT. Nacho fries. Oh, it looks delicious. We should do a couple of those this stream. Yeah, absolutely. Rattlesnake fries. Where are you? I got an NBA promo. Oh, are we synced up? I hope so. Dunk? I hope so. Uh, new, new commercial. Yeah, so I'm like a split second behind you. Okay, all right. I'll pause it for a second. Tiny pitcher, 38 ounces. 60 ounce pitcher. Woman stopped. What's that? No, I'm describing what's happening in the commercial. Oh. She's in an Audi. I got an Audi commercial. Oh, now I'm farther behind you. What the hell is happening? Uh, unless I got a different commercial. Maybe I got a different commercial. No, I got an Audi commercial right now, too. All right, I'll tell you when it gets back to the game. I got PC Richards now. Tell me when you get the PC Richards. Wow, I'm way behind. You got PC Richards? No, I had a Cadillac commercial. Never mind, we got different commercials. All right, we got different commercials. That's what it is. <laughs> He, all right, Big Blue Rocky Crew wants to hear, can you feel the love tonight? I got no voice, but I'll try my best. I think he's asked that five times now. Yeah. <clears throat> can bad No, I got no I can't do it. I can't yeah. do it. 
I got nothing left. I've been streaming all day. Mm. All right, I got the game back. You see the game? Mm-hmm. All right, they're showing tournament summary. Houston, Georgia. I'll tell you when it goes away. All right. All right, now there's a free throw. Yeah, I am right there with you, brother. Okay, go ahead. Take it over. So, technical free throw is knocked down. It is 17-15, North Carolina. 10.43 to go in the first half. Oh, it's a flagrant. So, a flagrant one was called. Both flagrant fouls are good. North Carolina up by a triple. Let's take a look at the foul here. Let's see where it is. Um, I didn't see much of anything there. I don't know what the hell I just watched. There was no flagrant one there. <laughs> North Carolina inbounds the ball. Swinging around the perimeter. I don't know any of these guys' names. A guy with a huge hair has the ball. Yeah, that's a nice, that's set of, nice, nice moss right there. That's amazing moss. <laughs> In the corner, swinging it around the perimeter. Lally oop inside. Grab. Nice pump fake. And lay in no good. Rebounded by Iona and a foul. We small foul on the Tar Heels. 10 21 to go in the first half. It is uh, Tar Heels 18, Gales 15. Iona playing them tough for the first half of the first half. Yes. Duke was also in a battle earlier today. Technically, the first quarter, I guess you could say, right? Yeah. Jesse's a minute ahead. That's pretty freaking amazing. Someone would be a minute ahead of the game. It's, yeah, it was happening to me today, too, when I was streaming. I don't get it. A minute. As Iona has it. Top of the circle. Now driving right. Gives it off. On the right elbow. Into the corner. Gets a screen. Works around it. Picks up the dribble. Nowhere to go. Now gets rid of it. Two on the shot clock. Ooh. He's got to force it. And it's back iron. No good. Rebound oh. by Star Heels. And they lost it out of bounds. How do you let That's that happen? That punches the stanchion. How does that happen, Bad Dog? And just lack of concentration, I guess. It's kind of like a football player. You know, you take your eye. You start to run before you have the ball. You drop the pass. You started to go up court before he had the ball. He lost it off his foot. There's there's a orange Coca-Cola commercial, or not even a commercial, just the advertisement flipped across the stream. Yes, they've been doing that the whole tournament, too. Yeah, I looked for one. I could not find it. I was pissed. I was ready to have one of those. <laughs> well, though, as always, next time, find one for Sunday. <laughs> Double team on the perimeter, kicks it around on the right elbow, now top of the circle. Thought about the three, spins in the paint, loses it. Back to the top of the circle. 12 of the shot clock, dribbling right. I heard somebody join the channel. Thank you so much. That's an offensive foul. It was a little Thank loud, you. though. I know. Like, like, calm down. Thank you for joining the channel. I mean, they were very excited to be here tonight. <laughs> Appreciate it very much. Iona and North Carolina locked in a good battle here. Tar Heels only up by three. And yeah. Duke, like I said, they had a very tough battle first half, and they pulled away in the second half, as did Virginia. Ooh. And there's Oma, and it is a steal. Back comes Iona. They have numbers. Driving the paint. Laying off the glass. Nice move and a good finish. Iona Not trails by one. Great finish right there. Good transition uh, offense right there off the turnover. Absolutely. And that dude with the big hair, when he was running, his hair is flapping in the breeze. It's awesome. There he goes into the paint. The shot forced it up. Can't get the go. Rebound. Iona bought for Tipped around. Whoa. And, and uh, wow, balls all over the place. Tar Heels end up with it on the baseline. A hook shot. No. Yes. Oh, they call an offensive foul. I don't know what's going on here, but I think that was a charge. Looked like he might have been in, inside the cylinder, though. I don't know. Yeah, I thought that was going to be a yes and the foul, but they do call an offensive foul. So Iona has a chance to take the lead here. Quick updates on the scores. Ohio State up early 9-2 on Iowa State, and VCU uh, beating UCF 3 to nothing. And Iowa State cannot lose because I, I have them going far. I cannot lose that one. That will hurt. Iona brings it up the court across the timeline, trailing by 1, 8.44 to go. He dribbles right, gives it off to the guard. Double teamed on the perimeter, kicks it out, left elbow in the paint. Post up, now squares a shoulder, oh. pull up from about 12, man, nothing but strings. I own up 19-18. Let me pause this real quick. I think I'm a little heady. That was a hell of a shot. It was. Okay. There was Carolina now swinging it around the perimeter. And pass in the – oh, look, for three. Yes. It looked like it was uh, intended for the other player over there, and it was intercepted. Now I'm a second at behind you. 
<laughs> that was a hell of a shot there by Johnson, though. It was. So Iona trails by two. They have the ball now. Top of the circle. Pull up for three straight on. Yes! Knocking it down. Iona says, take that. Anything you can do, I can do better. Back up by one. Beautiful form there. That was a nice looking shot in the paint. Strong move. Gets it to go. The man with the moss. What's it hit for the deuce? The man with the moss. I like that. The man with the moss. It's 23-22. North Carolina. Has the ball. Top of Kind of lost the dribble there. Gives it off. They swing it around the perimeter. Not really going anywhere here. Top of the circle. Smits the defenders all the way to the 10 with a nice... Glass off the off the glass with a little kiss. Great finish there by the squirt. Yeah, the squirt. And back comes the Moss Man, strong in the paint for two. That's like the Moss Man. That's Moss Man Junior. I think another guy had more Moss. Oh, I think he. <laughs> North Carolina's got a lot of Moss going on there. Yeah, you see on the bench there. That's the big Moss. Yeah, the big Moss. <laughs> yes, we're gonna call him Big Moss from now on. <laughs> Siona down by one. We got a good game here so far, entertainer. Yeah, Kick out. Game. Order three. Strings. 27-25. What a shot. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. Iona not intimidated by the big dog at all. They are giving North Carolina all they want here. Straight on three for UNC. Back iron no good. Rebound put back by Small Moss. <laughs> you got to you gotta box them out there, bad dog. Yeah, North Carolina using its size advantage in the paint there. 27-27, 6 to go first half. So you implying, Bad Dog, that size does matter? Uh, I think it does. I, I think <laughs> size does matter. I think it does. In more ways than one, in it, Dana? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Iona has it. Tie game, seven on the shot clock, about six minutes to go in the half. The drive in the paint, lost it. Back on the Tar Heels, they got number. Now they draw just another skirmish on the floor. And a timeout. I love it. Diving on the floor like it's a loose football. Yeah, it was. It was like a fumble. And I guess I only got a timeout there somehow. I didn't think they had control of it. But we will go to commercial break with a score of 27 27. 27 27. We're all tied up. We're watching a great right, game. We got here. guys uh, carrying car bumpers around, it looks like. Or. Yes. Oh, yes. Let's do that. You'll do. We'll, we'll alternate commercials. Go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, oh, a tailgate. They're pulling the tailgate off of the uh, truck. There, guy just kind of smiling at the sun. And what they're singing a na 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 goodbye as they all carry the backs of their truck. Uh, uh, tailgate to end all tailgates. <laughs> yeah. Don't really get the point of that, but whatever. We got a State Farm commercial here. I don't remember the character's name from The Office, but it is the gay character talking with Chris Paul as they're in a red room with a gray backdrop. State Farm commercial. I don't know. Maybe they're talking about stock options, but that was a quick one. Not a good commercial there. But go maybe ahead. they were talking about size. Oh, here's uh, here it is. <laughs> dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. I unlock a nice maid. <laughs> all, all of a sudden, that guy's going in English accent. Never had one before. But well, there he is, he's thrown, he got, he's got a nice uh, 12 pack there, find out what's in your beer, and he's sitting there like this, and like, give me another 12 pack, I need a 12 pack in each hand, damn it. <laughs> he's nice, he's nice, oh he got five, so get the hell away from me, don't catch my Bud Light, as they uh, poured it, he got a little overzealous on the pour and it spilled out. We got another commercial here, this isn't a really good one to call, it's just like guys announcing a basketball game, so I'm going to let this one go. Well, that guy does have a nice wig on, it looks like. You think that's a wig? It looks like one. If that, Yeah, you know what? It might be. It is a nice looks hair. Like a piece. If it's not, though, it's a nice mo It is good moss. That, that looks like a piece. That looks like, you know, he looks like he gets his hair from the same person Marv Albert gets his hair from. <laughs> <laughs> that was and another commercial. Here we go. We got a handsome-looking man here, bald like Bad Dog. Bald and beautiful. Looking mochismo in a pickup truck, talking to the camera. It looks like he's talking to me. I think he says, turn up the volume. I don't know what he's saying. I'm trying to read lips. I can't tell. But uh, he's patting down his pickup truck. Very proud of it at the Bagel and Muffin store. And he's got a cute little dog next to him. He looks pissed. That dog's adorable, though. Yes. He has a very deep voice, too. And now he's licking him in the ear. I like oh. it. Great commercial. Great commercial. Yeah. I think that guy got a little excited there to cut the commercial off. Oh, yeah. Got a great. Oh, you probably don't have great clips, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, that's a local commercial. Oh, no, I, got, no, I do, no. I do, I do. It oh, you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so they're showing you can uh, 
get the Great Clips app on the phone. Maybe the maybe the app can cut your hair so you don't even have to uh, go in there. <laughs> Who the hell wants a Great Clips app? What the <laughs> anyway, we're back. It's 27 apiece. Uh, North Carolina has shot the ball very poorly, 10 out of 27. But the points in the paint, the second chance points, dominated by North Carolina, who has used their size. Yes, and it does matter. It absolutely matters. Dogs are the cutest, says Last Jedi. 5.50 to go. Iona has it. Chance to take the lead. We're tied to 27. Whoop. Nice ball movement. Corner three. In and out. And oh, in. it fell. It went in. Yeah. He got the roll. And it's Iona up by three. What is going on here? I don't know. Iona playing him tough. Iona eight out of 16 from downtown. Wow. Float about the three. In the paint. Turn around jumper from 17. Front rim no good. Tipped out and rebounded by Iona. Back they come the other way. 5.20 to go in the half. 30 to 27 Iona leads. Chance to extend it. In the corner. Picks it up. Swings it around the perimeter. About 35 feet away from the basket. Dribbles right. Kicks down the corner. Corner three. Ropes. Nothing but the bottom of the 10. It's 33 to 27 Iona. I feel like I'm watching a Steph Curry three-point contest. And they, oh, almost had a steal, but a fortuitous bounce can't hit the layup. Rebound tipped and grabbed by Iona. The little squirt comes down with a rebound. The little squirt school is giving the big school all they want. Yes, they are. And look, uh, you know what? This game's about to change because look who's coming in. The big hair. What's his name? Oh, uh, Big Moss. Big Moss. <laughs> big Moss from way downtown. Oh, bad shot there. If he would have hit that, the building would have lost the roof. Yes. yes. They would have. Iona up by six. Gets it in the paint. Nice ball movement. Corner three. No good. A little too strong there. Iona with the rebound. Carolina, I think, is three out of 11 from downtown. And Iona is, I believe, nine out of 18. So that's the difference in the game so far. Looks like, oh, wow, they're doubling up on the Moss. Looks like two up big Mosses on the sideline now. Nice. Yeah, the more Moss, the better. <laughs> big Moss, big players. Driving the paint. Oh, he threw it at the backboard, and it went in. The bank is open. Looked like he was trying to break the glass. He, he almost did. But Iona <laughs> is up by eight. Good defense in the perimeter. Pull-up jumper from 17 feet. Too strong. Tapped out and rebounded by North Carolina. A pull-up three. No good. And Iona kicked it out of bounds. It'll be Tar Heel ball. And Iona like up by eight. And they're, Eight. they're hitting every three known to man. What a start to this game, Bad Dog. I, this is unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. I, here I am thinking, well, we'll call a half. Carolina will be up by 17. We'll go to another game. Might not be leaving this one anytime soon. Yeah, if that, maybe 10 minutes at halftime, but maybe not. Maybe we'll just stay here. If it's that good, we don't want to miss a second of it. Oh, definitely not. What's up, Team Backpack Gamer? Spurn Cell says, I'm with you. Let's go Iona. Like like Smash Talk said earlier, listen, if it ruins my bracket, but I see Iona beat North Carolina, because oh, they're a, from the MAC, so they're I from say, our neck of the woods. I would say, it's a, yeah, you're right. It is from New York, Iona. I would say that it's um, a once-in-a-lifetime, but it happened last year. Yeah, yeah. I agree with, I agree with DWG. He says the first half bell is like Duke UNC Sleep. I get it. But it's exciting right now. Yeah. It's exciting right now. I can remember years ago, and I don't know how many years ago. It was a long time ago. Siena, which is, is a college near me, um, they gave uh, UConn. UConn was the number yep. one in the league uh, you know, in the tournament. And then uh, Siena was up by like 10 with eight minutes to go in the game. I remember watching and I, and I real, I'm sorry. It was University. Was it Siena or University of Albany? I think it was UAlbany. I think it was well, UAlbany. Siena did it too. I know. Sienna's yeah. won some college. It was U Albany. U Albany was a 16 seed. Okay. And they they almost like they're up by 10. And I'm sitting there going, oh my god, they might pull this off, but they fell apart down the stretch. That was the closest I ever saw a 16, you know, win until last year. I remember Sienna. Maybe they weren't a 16 though, but I remember they almost upset a big team too uh, late in the game. There you go. Boy, thank you so much for the super chat. Hold on a second. Yeah. Dilly dilly, my man. Dilly dilly. <laughs> He says, my bracket's dead anyways. Let's go, Iona. Thank you so much for the Super Chat, brother. I really appreciate that. Appreciate everything you do for the channel. You are the man. And, guys, I appreciate everybody that is here. Thank you so much for hanging out with us on this Friday night. And, guys, thank you for hanging out with the entertainer today, who did a marvelous job the last two days, worked his ass off. Appreciate Not that. Not that he had to work off, probably anyway, but, you know. Are we going to share that cannoli, Alex Murphy? Yes. I wish we could share that cannoli. I told I have two here. I, I told Chris if I could, if there was any way I could get it through the screen to him, you know, I would. I'll tell you what. On Sunday, I'm gonna buy some cannolis. 
There you go. I'm going to buy some cannolis on Sunday. There you go. Yes. Got to get some – and I got to get that orange vanilla Coke. Yes. <laughs> There's a cheerleader. Um, she looks like she's been hanging out uh, with Eddie Lacy. <laughs> and uh, – yay. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, she might she might have been eating a few too many uh, uh, cannolis with Eddie Lacy. Yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> might have been. And they're showing the uh, Mississippi State, not the most flattering outfits from the Mississippi State. No, nah, nah, definitely not. I don't know where they had, like the plaid wrapped around the pants. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what that was about. I don't get it. Where are they going with that? But there you go, guys. It just said you want to watch live games, just go to NCAA.com, March Madness. So stop asking me to show the TV. Is Carolina inbounds and a nice tap in as they missed the initial shot. But again, Carolina dominating the paint, cut Look, the lead to six. Looked like Iona tapped that in. They, they very well could have. Yeah, but yeah. great position by. Uh, yeah. Quick score update Iowa State's taking the lead 15 13, and UCF up 9 7 early. As Iona swings it around the perimeter, they're giving it off. Top of the circle, double team, and a foul. A wave. That's a bad foul. I mean, when a guy is, you know, top of the circle. Oh, Big Moss. Big Moss with the foul. BM. <laughs> and BM. And we're going to commercial break. Wow. We, got... we just have one of these? Yeah, Cadillac commercial. XT5. Rolling there you go. You third. take this one. He's taking over. He looks like he's running about maybe 75. Actually, it's a she. She's actually pretty cute. She's got a jet in the background. Flies overhead. A dust bowl. She's about to crash into a trailer, and she stops on a dime. Ooh, an attractive woman with no hair steps in the vehicle. And, uh, wow, I'd like to be in that car. Through, have a, th a three-way right there with those two chicks. But there you go. There's your Cadillac commercial. I want that chick to drive in front of me. Oh, my God. We have a Chili's commercial. Oh, my Lord. We have chili peppers sauce all over a Zaxville hot chicken. Zaxby's. I don't even know where the hell Zaxby's is. I don't know. <laughs> And, and that was really quick. What the hell just happened there? We're at a Maids for Us commercial now. We see a woman come down with a bowl of popcorn while they're fighting over the bills. Cute little puppy pops up on her lap. She's wearing the old Converse sneakers. Flo, the progressive lady's over at the... Uh, she's in the, She's all over. She's in a different room every time I look. They got a big fish. They toilet bowls open. What is going on in this? A kid just put green... I, don't, I can't even describe this. Kid just, kid just painted a guy. What the hell is going green. on? <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of commercials are these? Off, flow, smash or pass, Chris? Uh, how many beers deep? Six. Oh, smash. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, we got a white power plant. Uh, they're showing up a, a dope, as it were. Now they show a tree. CO2 uh, molecules is falling down. ExxonMobil. We're going inside the uh, the brains of ExxonMobil. Guy writing with a pen. A huge computer. Nice monitor. Wish I had that big tree. Looks like the guy's hair on uh, North Carolina and Exxon Mobil's all over. And we got a tailor commercial. I've never been to a tailor. He measures them. Actually, I have. That's not true. When I've gotten fitted for a wedding, measures them on the right hand side. He turns. Nice looking, bald headed man talking to a guy with very funky looking glasses, huge ears. As he continues to grin and smile, he raises his eyebrows in a weird fashion. And then a man with a very oversized coat steps out of the fitting room. You can't even see his hands through the jacket. And it. <laughs> And it ends in a creative planning desk. I don't know what's going on with that commercial. I wish I could hear the volume. I don't have any idea what's going on. Goose is making tea, just so you know. Never pass, always smash, only live once. That's good advice to live by, DWG. I can't really argue that. We have a, I think this is a Peloton commercial. Guy's just stripping sweat all over the floor. I hope he cleans that up, freaking slob. Clean up the machine. He's pedaling <laughs> as fast as he can. And he was pedaling about four miles an hour, and he was sweating. Get in shape. Uh, actually, so you guys are getting a little nonsense at the commercial breaks as well. Yes. We have incorporated nonsense into the game. But this has been a great game. Iona in the lead. Really good game. Yeah. 999 Juice World. By the way, anybody new to the channel, guys, please smash that thumbs up. Hit that big red button. Ring the bell. And also make sure you go into the description. Click on the link to the entertain his channel. And support his channel, guys. Hit this big red button. Ring his bell. Three minutes ago and a half, Iona up by six with the ball. Left elbow driving in the paint. Step back jumper is a little too long. And North Carolina comes away with it. Gives it to BM. Look, Big moss. Look at that moss flapping. It's not, I can't even say flapping moss. in the wind. It's just great moss. He can spare some. Gives him not the bad dog. Big <laughs> moss on the left elbow. Now backs out. It's sort of the drive. Backs out. Kicks it off. Ball moving around the perimeter again. Step back jumper from 18 feet. No good. Rebounded by North Carolina. That was, Kicks uh, down again, and that, they'll reset. That was rebounded by Minnie Moss. 
Well, from way downtown. No good. And Iona grabs the rebound. North Carolina not shooting well so far in this game. No. 2.20 to go. First half, Iona, 35, North Carolina, 29. That is not a mistake, ladies and gentlemen. That is the score. Iona is beating number one, North Carolina. Absolute insanity. It is crazy. This is why they call it March Madness, baby. <laughs> yep. We approach two minutes to go in the half. The crossover, good defense on the perimeter. Straight on three. Oh, bad shot. Ooh, rebounded by the Moss. Yeah, I thought that ball might have been out back. Look at that Moss flapping in the breeze. <laughs> Look at it. Johnson in the paint. Got it. Nice. So off the glass for two. North Carolina cuts the lead to four. Good 35-31. Big power move. That's like an old old man YMCA move that he just pulled right there. It really is. I really like Johnson's. When he runs down the court, that hair is freaking awesome. It's worth the price of admission. It is. Iona has it. Crowd getting into it here as Iona has it about 28 feet from the basket. 10 on the shot clock to pull up three strings. They can't Iona miss. Seven. They don't miss. <laughs> they don't miss. Here comes Johnson in the paint. Fouled. Yes. Oh, no shot. The foul on the floor. I, how, how do they not call the continuation on that? I think the moss I think the moss got in the referee's way. He couldn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know how they didn't uh, call that. Number three. Do you get the gist of it, Chris? That's yeah, gist. Yeah. <laughs> Iona up by seven with a minute 12 to go in the half. Insane. Boy, Williams cannot be happy with his team's performance so far in this game. This is crazy, man. I, I really, I was sitting there going, we're going to call a half and we're going to another game. We ain't leaving this one. No. no. Johnson in the paint, kicks it off. The three, in and out. Great rebound up and tipped in. North Carolina dominated. If it wasn't for the points in the paint, this they'd be getting be blown out. This game. Yeah, this game would be over. They've hit 10 threes in the first half. 10 out of 20. That's crazy. percent from the field. They've got 30 of their 38 points from three-point land. It's crazy. So they haven't hit a free throw because they're four out of eight from two-point land, too, from the floor. Wow. So they haven't hit a free throw at all. Nice drive to the left. Now double team in the paint. They tie him up, and it'll be a jump ball. Stays with Iona. Section there, Iona. Wow. What a game it's been. It has been a really good game. Really good game. And, of course, the second half, you know, North Carolina could come out and establish dominance. But this is fun right now. Yeah. This is fun right now. Everyone's going to be rooting for 16 by the end. Of, I mean, if this is like this in the second half, you're going to see everyone rooting for Iona. Don't, don't, we don't care about our brackets. At that point, no. Drive, tough shot, off glass, no good, rebounded by the Tar Heels. Back they come. They could hold for a final shot. Johnson has it. That's Kicks it up it and up. down. Yep. Oh, he traveled. He traveled, Chris. Up and down. There's Roy Williams looking pissed as ever. He should. I mean, number one, I don't always say it. He definitely jumped off the ground. I mean, I saw it. Yeah. He did not yeah. ball fake. Black definitely jumped off the ground. And Roy Williams, is. I, I don't know why he was going to shoot that anyway. Yeah, well contested. But I, I don't – he was indecisive in a cost. 28-0 career record, and he's lost every game when he's trailed. So, he's, so he will have to break history for North Carolina to win this game. Only four turnovers by the Gales, too. That has been impressive. They will hold for a final shot. The Gales are up by five, eight seconds ago. Triple team, corner three, no good. Tip, no good. North Carolina – can they get a shot off? Nope. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Yeah. We're at halftime, ladies and gentlemen. With the score, the Iona Gales 38 in the North Carolina Tar Heels 33. What a first half that was as the Gales number 16 leads number one by five. The ultimate David versus Goliath. Wow. Crazy. A little school from the MAC conference in Iona. Insane. They're in that conference well because that's where Siena comes out of. So they are. They're a little school up here in upstate New York. And they, they are battling the big dog. What Look game you want to go to? Look at that moss. Is that Jamie Erdahl? Hold on a second. Oh, you want to go to another game? Yeah, let's go to another who's game. The, who's the interviewer? Um, Is that Jamie Erdahl? Can't tell there. She's all right. She's I thought his name said Tim Clueless. <laughs> it's Tim Clues. <laughs> What, uh, what game you want to go to here, Tana? Uh, you want to check out CBS, see if we're synced up? I don't know if it's a good game. Let me see. We've got v – oh, yeah, it's close. VCU-UCF? 
I think you're way ahead of me on CBS. Okay. Did somebody just made a layup? Let's and check. I, I'm not there yet. Now I'm there. Okay. They're showing uh, UCF. He's slapping his teammates high fives. No, I'm not there. Okay. I'm way behind you. I can rewind if you want. Let's see. Oh, yeah. He just made the layup. <laughs> wow. And got fouled. Let's check channel eight. What time? What time you got in your screen? Uh, I went to commercial, but now I'm on uh, TBS. I got um, what game is this? Iowa State versus Ohio State. That's close too. All right, let's see where we are. I got 8:54 in the clock. Yeah, I'm uh, a second behind you. Okay. Yeah. So this maybe, one's a lot closer. Yeah, maybe two seconds, but we're clo we're very close. All right. So I Ohio State has the ball. Battle of two. I never understood that, but. Ohio State, state of Ohio, straight on three, <laughs> short, and ooh, oh, whoa. got low bridged there. Whoa, and, uh, looks like both players will be okay. Tripped them. Hopefully, the score okay. should have been worse if the Gales had. Bug yeah, exactly. Smash talk. That's what we were talking about, man. The chat's getting really weird. I'm sorry, I'm not even looked at the chat. I probably should look over there a little bit. Red Fox keeps saying we clearly have different providers. Well, yeah, but we, yeah, we do. We, we do. do. Yeah, he's Spectrum on Fios. Yeah. Spectrum's free for me. I got to take it. I worked there. Yeah, of course. I had Spectrum for 23 years and said, to hell with you. <laughs> Once I found out Chris was the technician, I said, I'm getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> Back comes uh, the Buckeyes, trailing by two. Yeah, it doesn't seem like neither team scored in a while because nice post in the paint off the glass ties the game. The big man. Power oh, move right there. Definitely a big power move right there. They approach eight minutes ago. Wesson cooking oil knocked that one down. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes uh, the Cyclones. The drive in the paint. Oh, tough shot. Can't get it to go. Back come the Buckeyes. Across the court, they're pushing the pace. And no whistle. I, I don't know if he tripped or tripped himself. I think he tripped over. I think they had a little uh, Coke vanilla orange on the court. He might have tripped over that. Could have. He might have stuck in that and then lost his footing. <laughs> that stuff's probably very sticky. Three-pointer. No good. Rebounded by the Cyclones, and they will bring it up the court without any pressure. They have missed their last six field goal attempts. I knew this score hadn't changed in a long time. Yeah, I'm mean, 17. Very low scoring game. Nice drive in the paint. Oh, he blew the layup, but he's fouled. All right, I'll be shooting two. Let's see if he can hit the free throws. Browns go 12 and 4, 11 and 5. I'd not be surprised if the Browns win 12 games because they have some great players now. Yeah, they do. They do. Who said uh, I don't think they'll win 12. But we'll see. I don't, I don't think they'll win. I can see them winning 10 or 11. Yeah. I'm still throwing the O out there. I will win with the Browns after my coffee tomorrow morning. Okay. <laughs> I, I get you, Red. By the way, Red Fox was a great comedian. I hope that's a real Red Fox. Red Fox uh, was a great comedian. Coming back from the uh, you know the other world to hang out with us. It happens. Um, old pro OBJ. Um, he can be an all pro of Cleveland. I'm fine with that. Um Bro, I could really go for a shroom now at Pig Venus. All right. All right. All right. Says if it's brown, flush it down. That's good advice. Sage yeah. advice by Pig Venus. Right. It's there. actually Thanks. probably the best advice you could ever get. And Chuck Short should listen to that. Yes. Uh, yes, he should. Instead of letting it go in his underwear. Yeah. His wife bathe him. <laughs> uh, MH wants to know why we're so sexy. Uh, a lot of cannolis. Oh, where's the cannoli? It's right here. Half eaten cannoli. Take another bite of this now, but you see, I'm not stupid. You see, I understand that people can Photoshop this thing because it looks a little, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you know what I know where we got in the chat, so you ain't seeing me eat it. So Chris gets it. Oh, I wouldn't even think. I wouldn't even think about that. I was eating all day on camera. I had cheese doodles in my mouth. But you didn't. But you didn't have one of these. I didn't. I mean, have a, yeah. this, this looks dirty. Well, that has girth to it. Yeah. Girth and. Cream and everything yeah, else. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I wouldn't even I think would... about that. I would have just eaten the cannoli. Just like I'm going to eat this cheese doodle. You should. Mm -hmm. Take the gun, leave the cannolis. Uh, red box. Right. Not to mention, some of these, you know, some of these people in the, in the chat might get a little excited if I eat a cannoli on camera. Uh, half you know how our chat is. Half the chat, and unfortunately, there's no females, in, or very few, and... So half the chat would be very, very excited about it. Yes, yes. I think Jedi's here. I think that's it. I don't. I don't think there is. Um, I think Taylor was oh, there earlier. Right. The cream and the cannoli is fantastic. Oh, it's the best no, part. Like, I think the shells. 
part of it. I can eat the shells without the damn cream. You can eat the shell. Oh, yeah, the shells are good, but you, need, but you need the cream. Yeah, either one. Yeah, prime time cheetah says cannolis are disgusting. Now nah, I don't know what the hell's wrong with you. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with your taste buds. Get your taste buds checked. Yeah. <laughs> Baker isn't trash. He threw 27 touchdowns. LOL Homer. Um, there's Jedi. Red Fox is super excited. Sarah Seoster. Sarah and Last Jedi are here. Oh, so we got two. And I know Tell was here earlier. Yes, you was here earlier, yes. Put him in the Baker's bathroom. Baker's not trash. Neither one of these teams shooting. Well, only a couple turnovers from each team as well. But yep. Ohio State, one out of eight from beyond the arc, seven out of eighteen in the field. Iowa State, seven out of twenty from the field. How have they how have they only attempted thirty eight combined shots in almost thirty three minutes? Uh, and only six turnovers between the two teams. That's crazy. This must be a very slow paced game. They're eating up the shots. This guy kind of looked like Emmett Smith a little bit right there. Yes, he did. <laughs> a little bit. Free throw is good. Iowa State up by a point, eighteen to seventeen. How would, we, how would I feel if the Giants draft that are wide receiver in the first round violated? No, yeah. reason, no reason to do it. Definitely not. They just signed Golden Tate. And both free throws are good. So the Cyclones go up by a bucket. It is 19-17, 7-15 to go. A little, uh, little press here, but they get it across the timeline without a problem. You're going to dribble right. Single man uh, coverage there. And now he's on the right elbow, cross-court pass. Nice ball fake to the hoop, kicks it out. Good ball movement, great ball movement. Wide open three in the corner, got it. That was gorgeous. That was gorgeous ball movement, never touched the ground. That is how you draw it up, my man. Yeah. That is how you draw it up right there. Only the second three-pointer for the Buckeyes, a two out of nine from downtown. Back come the Cyclones, kicks it off. Guard just grabs it. Now we have him on the right elbow. Goes right all the way to the hoop. He hits the bottom of the rim, but he's fouled. They're going to line for two. There you go. He'll shoot two here. Caleb uh, Weston with the foul. Yeah, Weston, Weston's a big boy, too. It's a big guy. Yes, he is. They, they got some big... I mean, they look like offensive linemen out there. Yeah. There are some big... Dude, look at that guy. <laughs> got the shoulders of a linebacker. First free throw is good. Tie game, 20 to piece, 631 to go in the half. Wigginton, uh, it's, uh, remember Ty Wigginton on the Mets? Yes, I do. I caught a home run uh, that he hit. Did you really? Yeah, they were playing the Giants. I told everybody it was Barry Bonds, but I later told I, him I was. <laughs> nobody can prove you wrong. So you just did yourself. So Iowa State missed a free throw, but grabs their offensive rebound. Double team in the post, long three-pointer. Back iron no good, tipped out and rebounded by the Buckeyes. They'll settle it down, walk it across without any pressure. 6.13 to go. In the first half, it is 20 to 20. Barbara Walters. Barbara Walters? 20 oh, 20 20. <laughs> Here's a three from the right elbow, no good. Oh, nice offensive rebound there by the Buckeyes. Gets it back. Thought about the straight on three. Gonna drop. Thank you so much for joining the channel. I really appreciate it. As we get a big time bucket in the paint, that's like that's like an orgy uh, of of uh, people that just joined your channel. That is a loud, loud siren. The fire Fantastic. truck going by. Fantastic! I always love when people join the channel. If you're yeah. new to, it, please uh, please join it. Please go into the description, and click on the link to the entertain, and join his channel. That is the Cyclones pump for three. Whoa! That was a UFO, ladies and gentlemen. My God, that looked like Josh and Sean when they played us in 2-1-2. Two -two. Didn't even touch the <laughs> rim. <laughs> My God, what kind of shot was that? Yes, that, that was a Josh. Uh, that's a Josh 3, I have no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. 22-20, <laughs> to 20, Buckeyes lead. They have the ball. Screen on the top of the circle, now onto the right elbow. Gets a pick, double teamed on the corner. Gives it off to his man in the corner. Dribble left, got some space, step back from the free throw line. Got it, nice fadeaway jump. Oh, that was beautiful. Yes, a tough shot, made it look easy. 24 to 20. Woods has seven points in the night. He's three out of five. This game's missing Moss. They are. Nice drive in the paint, turnaround hook shot, air ball. 
My God, it really does look like Josh and Sean out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that is exactly what they look like when they play as well. <laughs> well, more to talk about that next Saturday. As the Buckeyes in the paint, nice turnaround jumper with a short rebounded by the Cyclones, trying to push the pace. Got a man out ahead of the field. And oh, what a block! Oh, oh, oh my God, a block party! Mutt Gods, thank you so much for the super chat, my man. I really appreciate this. Both of you are great. Thank you. Dilly dilly, my man. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. dilly, dilly. And a foul. 24 said, to 20. Josh says, I can't wait to plant the Texas flag in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Goquan picked Utah State by accident. I picked a lot of teams by accident, Goquan. <laughs> wait, who did he pick? He said he picked uh, Mississippi State by or Was it Mississippi State? Utah State. Oh, you touched that. That was an 8 9 matchup. Could have won either way. Yeah. Definitely was. Andre Wesson. He's got to be, he's gotta be uh, K. Wesson's brother. Got to be. Yeah, definitely. Ohio State up by four. First free throw by the righty is short. Remains four. 4 16 to go in the first half. Once Iona and UNC uh, come back, we will be going back to that game, guys. Iona. We're at halftime. Iona's up 38-33. We'll definitely be going back to that one for sure. You got a good dock of the games here because UCF VCU is still very close too. Yep. So definitely. we're, we're going to have good finishes. Should. And the second free throw rolls around and is good. Iowa State trails by five. And that's the biggest lead of the night for Ohio State. Virginia Tech 14th. just got started. And a bad uh, turnover. Back come the Buckeyes. Lost the ball. Now it's uh, fought for again. Near the half court mark, no uh, back and or uh, no backcourt violation. Buckeyes have it, top of the circle, cross between the legs, dribbling right, picks up the dribble, almost stolen. In the paint, he's going to pull up from 16 feet, can't get it to go, tipped and rebounded by the Cyclones, and that's a foul, bad foul. Oh my God, bad foul. Foul on the guy 92 feet away from the other basket. I mean, it's just not a smart foul there by the Buckeyes. Luckily, they, I guess they, they have a foul to give, but, I mean, yeah, that's a bad foul. Yeah, you don't want to foul him there. So we'll uh, we'll go on. Actually, it looked like he lost his balance there. We'll go do a TV timeout, 341 to go in the half. Ohio State 25, Iowa State 20. You want to just flip back over to uh, you, uh, the other one? They're probably going to yeah. start soon. Yeah, we'll, we'll go Might back. as well change the title, right? That's on TNT, right? Yeah, I never changed the title. I, I kept UNC Tar Heels and Iowa. Oh, you did? okay, okay. Yeah. She's uh, standing there with her arms crossed. <laughs> oh, that's right. To see if we're synced up. Is that what you're saying? What's that? You want to see if we're synced up? Yeah, she's bending over right now. Yeah. And uh, Brendan Haywood's like patting her on the back. Yep. Right there. Yep. And he's walking away. Yeah, we're pretty good. Yeah. How come we don't have Charles Barkley here? He is uh, looking huge these days. Charles Barkley is a big man. MH says loud chewing. Yeah, I'm enjoying my doodles. Yeah, Sarah Small says uh, bad dog goes to St. Louis. I yeah, I hope so. I picked That's the one big upset I picked in the first uh, round. Oh, oh, yeah, you took St. Louis in that one? I took St. Louis in that one, yeah. Jerry Jones is the worst GM in football, even worse than Gettleman. <laughs> oh, he hates Gettleman. He does. He hates I don't know Gettleman. why. He let Josh Norman go. You know, they um, Redskins signed him with an enormous contract. He never lived up to it. He wasn't close to the player in Washington that he was in Carolina. Um, Gentleman took a 6-10 and 10 team at him in the Super Bowl two years later. Just because he doesn't pay his guys and lets them walk, I mean, you know, I don't know. Barkley's the worst golf swing. Oh, ever. yeah, he does. Yeah, I remember watching. They, they had a TV show, I remember. Um on the golf channel, actually, I remember the came. I never watched it, but where it was him trying to fix his swing. Yeah, you can't fix that. <laughs> can't fix that. Primetime Cheetah says Jerry Jones is the greatest owner in the NFL. Uh, probably not. What's no. up, Billy Stanton? Thank you for joining the stream. Giancarlo's son, I think. Oh, could be. No, I think uh, it is, yeah. 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 That's good. That's uh, probably a big dude then. Uh, <laughs> Because Giancarlo Stan is a big as a guy can't get his Bud Light and he's in the uh, whatever that thing is called. Yeah. Oh, it's a Miller Light commercial. Yeah, they have Bud Light and Miller Light. Oh. I always wonder about that. Like, how does like one product allow to put another 
person's product in their commercial. There you go. All right. Donald, thank you so much for the super chat, my man. He says, do crabs think fish can fly? <laughs> Maybe. Dilly Donald. dilly, Donald. Dilly dilly, yeah. Dilly dilly. Crabs. I always love when the president joins the stream anyway. Yeah. Because the president of the United States, you know, he probably did a bracket. Oh, he definitely did a bracket. No. Uh, I think he had, I think Donald has Iona uh, winning. Wouldn't shock me. Yeah. Donald has a perfect bracket. You know he does. Yeah. He always, he'll t if he doesn't, he'll tell you he does. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter uh, what we think. <laughs> What's up, Reed? How you doing? I have Virginia Tech in the street. Yeah, I have that. that's the one big upset I have. Um, so OBJ made you, yeah, well, you know. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're saying, DJ. He'd lie anyway. Iona's not going to win tonight. No, but, you know, I mean, it's a hell of a – yeah, Liberty did win. Of course. It's a hell of a <laughs> Of <game>. course. <laughs> he had to do this, how he always does it with his hand, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> if we lose, my TV will go to heaven. I feel like I'm having. Who's your T? Oh, he's a Uncle Luke is a uh, Tarios fan. He's sweating it out a little bit. Sweat. I, I Uncle Luke, I would sweat it out if this scores like this with four minutes to go. Right now, I would. This sucks about the Masters because I can only do the 13th. Yeah, that's the Saturday, right? Cause yeah, you, you'll do you, do it, man. It'll be awesome. Though. People are gonna. Because little bad dog's birthday party is the fourteenth. So I, yeah. I obviously maybe I'll it. maybe I'll stream the fourteenth. You got to do the fourteenth. I won't be able to do what you do, but I'll just call it. Yeah, you, you, know? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you just do that. Rot in the rot in the cabbage. Yeah, rot in the cabbage right there. Yeah. All you gotta know is cabbage <laughs> and pickle patch and uh, <laughs> eh, yeah. What's up? Can't bear losing. Thank you for joining the stream. Fred Silva's in the house. He says, "How do we feel about soccer?" I don't feel. I don't know about that. Joe wants me to fight him. I who does? Joe Luck. Joe Luck. Oh, I don't blame him. Dan St. John is in the house. If you got if you got the over in Iona, you're gonna oh to cover your pay. Yeah, you damn right about that, Dan. Holy cow. Chris and Orson, what oh, what's up, son? How you doing, buddy? He calls me Papa Chris. G what's going on? DWG asked if I can stream little bad dogs party. No, that's gonna be uh you know that's gonna be too uh too controversial for uh there's gonna be a lot of baby sharks going on at that party. Coach, I, I hope everything's going good with you. What's going on, King Rodney? King Rody, yeah, King Rody in the house. What is up, my man? Thank you for swinging by, brother. Cushman's had a horrible week. W E A K. Uh, you're horribly weak. What, what? Christian yours says, Papa Chris and Uncle Bad Dog. I got ragu. Well, <laughs> Chris, you can't be related to us if you're eating ragu. Yeah, you're not related to us if you're eating the ragu. Adolf is here. Adolf is in the chat. There he is. That now it's a party. Yeah. Donald Playboy and Adolf. Unbelievable! What a trio. Yeah. It's great because we haven't had the triumphant in a while. That's my Donald. That's all I can do for my Donald impression. I, 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 uh, <laughs> I got the best bracket. That was uh, that's a hell of a threesome. Oh, great threesome! Three, Playboy, Adolf, and Donald. I mean, what a threesome that is! Yeah, I, it's not a threesome I'd want to watch, but it, but it is an impressive threesome. Because <laughs> <laughs> one would be a corpse. Different personalities of all three of them. It, it, it's amazing that they they blend so well together. Right, right. You know? No, it is no. weird. You know, it's like bacon, eggs, and home fries. Yeah, it's like... Uh, it's so, so, yeah, yeah. It, uh, yeah, it doesn't work. I think, I think I'm having that for breakfast tomorrow. I'm <laughs> already thinking about breakfast. I got in trouble for mossing a kid. I jump above him and he started crying. What? Wow. What? Why'd you mess with the kid's moss? Yeah, you can't mess with the moss. Don't mess with the moss. What are you talking Don't get about? UVA and Duke was not doing well. Well, that's what I'm saying, Uncle Luke. I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry about it right now. Um, I'm gonna go get a beer. I'll be right back. Right. Billy Stan, who do I think the Giants are gonna get in the class? I want them to take Devin White. I think it'll be Devin White or um, Dwayne Haskins, in the first round. But I want the Giants to go defense, first three picks. I really want them to straighten out their damn defense. Um, yes. D'Angelo Russell is going to get his revenge on the Lakers tonight. Yeah, not doing the Lakers. Bad Dog's not doing the Lakers tonight. Because March Madness only comes around once a year. And we got it. We got to get it. Spermstel loves the sweatpants that Tane is wearing. The Entertainer. 
Here he comes back. Yes, uh, Texas Liberties. Uh, UBMC beat Virginia last year. Uh, UB, last year is the first time it ever happened. UMBC. I did go to shave my chest there. He's absolutely yeah. right. I had to trim it a little bit. Well, I, I would have taken longer. Have you seen the, the chest moss? I got it. I do have a good good set of chest moss. It's it's pretty good. Yeah, I have. I people have commented on it. Yes, thank you, Jeremy. Says uh, Chris and Bad Dog is a dynamic duo. Appreciate that, Jeremy. I think he's appreciate that pretty very much. Yeah, he's, he's been very active though, so we appreciate that. Of course, guys, do me a favor. You haven't done so, man. Bang the thumbs up, man. Spike that like for your boy Bad Dog. Hit the big red button for the Bad Dog and ring the bell. And Wait. when you're done doing that, guys, go into the description, click on the link to the Entertainer Talking Sports, hit his big red button, and ring his bell. He likes that. He likes when you ring his bell. Love it when you ring the bell. I want you to crack it, just like the Liberty Bell. Right. Smash it as hard as you can. Smash it like a dolphin at SeaWorld. Here we go. Yes, we're underway. Big Moss Johnson has it. Big, what, that's where, Big Moss Johnson. That is just fantastic. <laughs> Pull up three. Yes. So Carolina comes out right away. Knocks down a triple. Cuts the lead to two. Beautiful shot there by Johnson. Yeah. Johnson and Johnson out there. Yeah. Big Moss. I love that name. Iona <laughs> has it at the top of the circle. Carolina comes with the double team. They kick it up. Pulls up the elbow. I, ooh, bad shot there. Cinder block thrown up. Yeah. Not, not good shot Moss. selection at all. No, nah, he forced that one. Got a little over anxious. Pull up jumper from 17. Yes. So Carolina comes out, knocks down the first two shots. Roy Williams gotten her uh, behinds a little bit, it seems like, as Carolina's come out with renewed determination. Yeah, it looks like Carolina might have slept in the first half, and they, they really hit the books there at halftime. Yeah. They tie the game up at 38 apiece. We have 19 to go in the half. I own a nice drive. Bad, well, actually, that got through somehow. It was a rough pass. Pull up three from the right elbow. Got it! They just continue to hit three. I think that's their 12th or 11th three. Oh, nice. Tra oh, the transition defense is not good, but the tip is good. More second chance points for the Tar Heels to trail by one. Looked like he was basket hanging. White. Is White the guy? White is the guy with the big moss. Yeah. yeah. I love that freaking head of hair. I'd kill for that head of hair. Iona <laughs> has it. Dribbling left. Kicks it out. Oh, he thought about the deep three. Now he's going to pull it back and reset with 10 on the shot clock. Iona up by a point, 41 to 40. Dribbles left in the paint, steps back for three. Tough shot, ain't no good. Rebounded by North Carolina. Back comes White across the timeline with the best head of hair. It's got to be the best head of hair in the NCAA. Has oh, to be. It's not even close. I mean, it's amazing. On the baseline, gets it into the paint. Pass underneath. Tough shot, got it to go off glass. Carolina takes the lead 42 41. And just like that, the Tarios take the lead. And now this is going to, Iona's got to take this punch and bounce back. This is the key of the game right here. Yep, Carolina on a 9-2 run. Iona led this game by 7 at one point. Oh McGill my God. drives out from way downtown. Boom, oh, it was halfway down, Chris. That is a deep three. He should have got a point and a half. <laughs> Transition three, way short. Knocked out. Again, Carolina in the paint. Can't get the basketball, go to the line. Carolina dominating on the offensive boards. Yeah, they're just starting out muscle, which you, which you knew they would eventually. I mean, they're too, they're too much, you know, much bigger. Yes. Yeah, I mean, they, they, size matters. Say it all the time. We've been saying that since the start of this stream. Size yeah. matters. Just ask any girl in this chat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think there's two left. <laughs> <laughs> Jedi says hair is awesome. I'm not going to lie. The first free throw is good. Carolina up by two. Yeah, we'll see if Iona can take the punch here. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. They got to bounce back up off the mat now. That's what this game comes down to at this point. Second free throw is perfect. Carolina up by three. The thing is, though, it's it's an unsustainable pace, the way they were able to hit threes in that first Yeah, round. yeah, definitely. And Luke May has got really good eyebrows. I, I'm always impressed with a guy really thick eyebrows. Hey, Luke uh, May. I was going to yeah. mention that. Yeah, he yeah. does have nice eyebrows. Yeah. I know all about those. <laughs> so it's going to be good. Um, thought about the three. Dribbles in the paint. Pulls it back in trouble. Steps underneath. And, wow, they call a foul. That, ooh, and the reaction could have drew a technical. Yeah, good smart move there, though, by uh, by the Iona players. He was able to draw the foul. Yeah, it was a good up and under right there. Got him in the air. Eh, eh, I don't know about that call. I mean, it looked like he took the elbow and shoved off a little bit. A little ticky-tack. Yeah. 
We'll go to the line for a couple. Trailing by three, 17-9 to go in the half. First free throw is good. Carolina 44, Iona 42. He has another one coming from the charity stripe as he toes it. Has the ball in his left hand, takes a couple of dribbles. Spins the ball, bends the knees. The shot is good. Carolina up by one. Got a good game here. Maybe they bounce back. They need to stop here. Yeah, they do. White has it, gives it off. Back to White. And in the paint. Pull up from 17 feet. Got it. Wide open shot, knocked down very nicely. Carolina back up by three. Nobody around for miles there. Yeah, he had to hit that one. They dared him to take a shot. He said, all right, you're going to dare me to take it. I will knock it down. Iona swings it around the perimeter. They have four men outside of the perimeter. Nobody in the paint. Now they have a man in the paint. Driving right, spinning. Lost the ball. Carolina on the floor. Takes it. And back come the Tar Heels. Pushing the pace. Dribbling left in the paint. Pull up from the free throw line. Too strong. And rebounded by Iona. Moss was a little out of control there, but I like the energy. Yes, definitely. A little, little too fired up there. Yeah. A little too strong. Sometimes. You know when he's excited, you see it bounce a little more. Oh, yeah. I mean, that hair is amazing. I like when he just runs up the court. Iona in the up, stolen again on the floor. Up, Iona gets it back. They call a foul yeah, there on uh, on Browns. McGill diving on the floor. UCF up by 10 at the half. Ohio and Iowa State tied at the half. And Virginia Tech up by 6 early on in St. Louis. You see that it's tied? I see Ohio State's up too. Oh, I, my bad. They are up too. It's no, I, I thought maybe our TV's at different scores. No, 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 no. I just <laughs> I looked at it quick and it looked like 24. Get your eyes checked, bad dog. <laughs> 16 minutes to go in the half. I want to trails by three. They're going to try to tie it right here. And they short offensive rebound. Lost it. Carolina comes away with the ball. Cameron Johnson with the nice hands. Oh, he traveled. They didn't call it. In the paint. May turns, shoots. Oh, nice soft touch by the big man. Gets the roll. 48-43 Tar Heels. Yeah, this is this is this is bad now for Iona. Yeah, this is getting soft. Yep, there, there's another steal. Here comes BM. And White's going to come down with it. The Moss kicks it off in the corner. Nice drive in the paint. Tough shot. A foul. Blocking foul. Going to line for two. See, I think there's a bad job by Iona. Um, I would have called a timeout before that last basket. I would have slowed yeah. it down. Yeah. I don't understand. I, I don't understand why Cushman came in with that name over there. What is it's it? A little, it's a little weird. Yeah, he's been talking about my penis a lot lately. Um, a little, little, little strange. I like Cushman, but you know, it's a little, yeah, a little top. I've been told that the shape is nice. Um, it is, you know, <laughs> it, you know, it's it's nice, but you know, I'm sure the chat doesn't want to know about it. Well, I mean, maybe the chat, the chat probably does want to know about it. <laughs> You can know, I bite of this beauty off a of camera. Oh, there's another orange vanilla Coke commercial. Yeah, they, oh, yeah, I'll do the next commercial. Uh, we already did this one. This is the GMC. Mmm. Damn good cannoli. Oh, you can't beat a good cannoli. Mm. You can't beat a good cannoli. And let's see what we got here. Um, DWC says, what? What's yeah, up? Yeah, I, I don't even know what the hell is going on anymore. They got. They should have cannolis everywhere, Red Fox. Hey, you just got to go to an Italian bakery. You have cannoli. Well, you don't think upstate New York has cannolis? No Italians live up here? <laughs> <laughs> and we got another commercial. Ooh, an attractive woman in a tight white dress. Not, nice red sweater. They're running away with a trophy. I've seen this before. And the, what is what is going on here? Taking pictures. I don't even know what's going on here. What is this, Vegas? I don't know. Actually, it is. I They're at the Tau. At I was at that club, actually, uh, for a bachelor party. They're at uh, Tau. Yeah, that's Vegas. Nice. And this is a Vegas commercial, which is where I think we... Should end up for the summer league last year. I think uh, next year. I think Delano brought up that suggestion, so that would be a good idea. Yeah, probably never see me there again as long as I live. <laughs> and we got a mascot commercial, which I know you've done a million times because I heard you say you know all the mascots in this commercial as they uh, <laughs> they're just sitting there. Some guy has his left hand on his hip, right hand on the wall. He is about a oh, thank you so much for the super chat, Jimmo. Really appreciate him, my man. I don't have a beer, so dilly dilly, brother. Dilly dilly. He says, Mr. B and Mr. E show up every day, deliver fresh content, entertaining, humble pros. If you watch the channel, support the channels, why not give now? Thank you so much, Jimmo. Thank you for being a great supporter of the channel. Appreciate hanging that, out with us. Really appreciate it. And you got Modelo. Nice. Yeah, I got Modelo. Yeah. I really appreciate that. Thank you so uh, much. Jim uh, has been very active in our channels. We appreciate that. Yes. Yes. 
And no, I've only been at two clubs in Vegas, uh, Chris and Orr, and uh, that was one of them. And actually at that club, Enrique Iglesias was standing right next to me. And at first I didn't know who it was, and he was wearing a trucker's hat. And I'm, I look over again, I'm like, that's Enrique Iglesias. So, yeah. Did he cop a feel, Chris? He didn't cop a feel. He didn't cop he a thought feel. about it, though. He did. He did think about it. <laughs> I'm drinking iced tea out of a Stella glass. Just, just ain't right. Well, you, you try, you're like visualizing that it's beer. It just doesn't taste like it. Yeah, I really don't. It's not bad, though. I like the Snapple. No, I did not talk to him, Chris. But it was him. He had like a trucker hat on. And I got to go with the diet iced tea because I got the cannolis. I got the calories in the cannolis. Oh. You got to go, go with the cannolis. You got to go with the cannolis. got to do it. I had to do it today. I was yeah. like, you know what? We've been talking about it. I'm getting some. Stella! <laughs> yeah, yes, DWG. Modelo is awesome. It is. I mean, every beer tastes good cold. Yes. And first free throw is good as Williams knocks it down. 49-43. Carolina is starting to assert their dominance. Wow, Virginia Tech up by 11. That's looking pretty bad for me. And um, here come the Iona Gales. They're going to need a basket here. Yeah. Carolina played a little, maybe hustled them a little bit in the first half. This is a huge possession. It really is. They drive, kick it off, looking in the paint to the big man. He squares his shoulders. Now he backs down the defender, turns, kicks it out. Nice ball movement for three. No good. Got a good look. Couldn't hit it. Rebounded by May. He needed that. Back comes White. White dribbling left. Kicks off, nice pass underneath. Boom! Shakalaka. The big two-handed stuff, and North Carolina is just killing. I think it was a five-point differential. It's been a thirteen swing, thirteen-point swing here. Huge swing. Let's take a look at the scoring one right now. Seven zero. I freaking love that. I love White's hair. I want that hair. <laughs> I would look bad, good with that hair. Bad dog is fixated. With I am. White's I hair. am envious of that moss. Iona has it in the paint. One-on-one. -on -one. Turnaround jump shot is good. Nice turnaround jumper there. Yeah, a little Dirk Nowitzki there, that little uh, one one foot fadeaway. I would have needed that one. Ends the 7-0 run. It's 51-45. to 45. Carolina in the paint. Nice defense there and rebounded by Iona. Made it a tough shot. Iona could cut this lead to three. With a three. Yeah. They trailed by six. They've hung in there all night. They had a good lead in the first half. Taking Carolina's uh, punch here. This is usually when the little guy falls down right now. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to have to go on a stretch here where they hit like eight threes down the stretch if they want any chance. Pull-up jumper. Long and rebounded by May. He'll bring it across the timeline. Gives it off to Johnson. Into May. Turnaround jumper at the free throw line. Short. Oh, Carson Brooks with a strong board. He goes up for the deuce. Carolina is dominated in the paint. Yeah, they are just dominated. too big. They're just way too big for this team. Yep, that's exactly what's going on. And they are up by eight. 20 to seven in the second half. Three pointer is long. Rebounded by Carolina. Push the ball ahead to May. Kicks it out. Johnson double teamed on the elbow. Good, pa in the good paint. passing. Great ball movement for three strings. That 56. was six. 45 is Cam Johnson drills a triple. It's 56 to 45. North Carolina. That was North Kakalaka. That was that was beautiful. That passing right there it was great. Look there. Oh, uh, Jimmo, thank you so much for these two dollar super chat. Have you met in person before? How did you meet? We have not met in person before. No, nope, no. Nope. I uh, can't wait till the day we do. I almost went to the damn Lakers game against uh, the Knicks. Yep, yep. fell through. And I call. I said, "Dude, I might be going down. Will you meet me?" He said, "Yes." I was. I was more excited to meet him than going to the damn Knicks game. <laughs> and he's never been to the Garden. And I've never been to the Garden. Uh, Mrs. Bad Dog actually looking into tickets for the Knicks. I was like, "Let's just wait till next year." I, I, I mean, you know, the tickets are probably a lot more expensive. But I said, "Can we? If, we're gonna, if I'm going to go travel down to the Garden and watch a game, I want to see a good team." Play yeah, there. yeah. No, if you're going to make that trip, you don't want to see this team. Right. Yeah. So, but uh, how do we meet? He, uh, when he started YouTube, he uh, contacted me on one of my videos, and um, what do you call the elbow? I call it the elbow. Um, well, the elbow is the, the crook of the, you know, you got the straight on three, and as it bends over, that's the elbow. Oh, yeah. Sides yeah. of the elbow. That's where the elbow is. Um, but anyway, Jimmo, he contacted me, said, uh, I'd like to work with you. You want to work together? I said, absolutely, let's do it. He's like, I have an idea to do like a, we'll talk Giants once a week. And I said, yeah, love it. 
And the first week, something something came up, and I couldn't do it. And he's like, you know, I was like, sorry, man, I can't do it this week. How about next week? And he said, uh, he said, sure. Now, I'm glad he didn't say, screw this guy. He blew me off. But he said, we're going to tape it the first time just to see how it goes. And we did it. We taped it up. And it came out really good. A lot of people in the chat said, you guys have great chemistry. You know, you never work together, but you have great chemistry. So we started doing it live, and it just took off from there. I mean, it is. He's the yin to my yang. He's my cannoli brother, man. <laughs> And like, have, yeah, and every week I mean, it, he's awesome. Every week it builds a little more, a little more, and then hopefully by next regular season we got a lot of people in there. So that's what we're trying to do with that show. Yeah, Playboy. First and foremost, I'm not 19 anymore, so I don't have the freedom when you're married and have a child. I, I don't have the freedom to do things like that. It's just not. It's just not conducive to my life. I can't just pick up and be like, "Hun, I'm going to the Garden. Hun, I'm going to Vegas. Hun, I'm going to this game. Hun, I'm going to that game." Because you know what she'd say? Yeah, go ahead. And when you come home, I won't be here. So that's not happening. Pigskin Beat said, how sweet. Oh, I know. It is. It's a, it's a, it's a great love story. It really is. They're going to – oh, Techie, thank you so much for the super chat. My man, he says, PBR slamming time. Wreck them. Yeah, big win for Tech. Yeah, yeah. Now, I, gotta, yeah. I, got, I got Tech going to my Final Four. Yeah. I think I got them in – I might have Tech in the Elite Eight, I think. I think I have them in the Elite Eight. But – uh. Yeah, the, they're looking at making a movie uh, for me and the entertainer. Um, <laughs> well, Casino De Niro and Pacino are going to star in it. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Godfather, <laughs> the Godfather Part 4. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> I'm about 180 miles north of the garden. And I'm about a half a mile uh, south of the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Not even driving into the city. I, I drive to Poughkeepsie, take the train in there. It's just easier. It's the easier way to get around trying to drive. Yeah, that. you got you got to take the train when you go to the city. BBD is in the. I love BBD. By the way, if you guys are not, if you haven't supported BBD, he's a big Vols fan. Please go over there and support that man. I love BBD. He's one of my favorites. It's a straight on three is long, tough shot, rebounded by North Carolina, who is starting to really take control. Speaking of which, St. Louis is getting mollywopped by sixteen. Yeah, um, uh, not good for me. Yeah, we might yeah, just we have might. some fun for the last quarter three. Time. Short. Rebounded by Iono. Well, I'll, I'll, I can't talk. The foul, wave off the uh, shot attempt. They're going to say it was on the floor. Uh, Ohio State and Iowa State, at least that's a good game. Yeah, that'll be the probably the best game to call. And maybe that VCU game could get close. It definitely could. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, but, yes, definitely uh, check out BBD if you guys have not. The uh, uh, guy's awesome. I've known BBD a long time on here. One of the few guys I talk to off of YouTube. No, a lot of respect for him. What's up, Scott? How you doing, my man? North, north of that, Alex. Saratoga, shot, no good. Red Fox wants to know if I'm married. I am not married. And nice up and under, strong move. Puts it in off glass. Carolina's dominated this. This is pretty much what we expected. Mm. They're going to wave that off, foul on the floor. As uh, They call him Gist. I was going to say, I just like Gist better. It's got to call him Gist. But they they call him, his name, last name must be Gist. That's yeah. what they said anyway. But uh, Gist will go to the line. What a tease. What a tease, bad dog. We really thought Iona had a shot here. We did. Well, the, like I said, the, uh, the uh, I don't understand why Master was timed out for saying something about soccer. I don't get that. Uh, Jeremy asked soccer. if I've been to um, Melville, New, uh, Long Island. Uh yeah, I mean, that's 10 minutes, 15 minutes away from where I initially grew up on Long Island, Melville. Um, used to go pip, uh, pumpkin picking there all the time, actually, in Melville. Both free throws are good by Gist. Cuts the lead to 11 with about 12 minutes to go here in the second half. As White has it, pump fakes, passes it off. North Carolina has it. Gives back off to White. White, again, faking the pass, now passes it off. He's swinging it around the uh, perimeter. Nice pass underneath. Triple teamed up and good. Strong move by Carolina in the paint. And again, they've just dominated. Absolute dominant. And it doesn't even seem like they've hit threes in the second half. It's just been all in the paint, like you said. Yes. Oh, you found me through BBD. Awesome. Thank you, BBD, for sending Smash Talk my way. Yes, at Schmidt's Farm, Jeremy. Yep, that's the Appreciate place. That. And a steal by uh, North Carolina. They have numbers if they hurry all the way to the paint up. Yes. Oh, the foul! There and it is. North, North Carolina has taken complete control of this game. It is 62 to 47. 
Joe Lutz is telling me to stop showing my massive eggplant. Hey, he can't help it. Sometimes, you know, you if, if you got it, you got to flaunt it. I, I tucked it in my sock, funny. Joe. I own it was ridiculous. I think they were 10 for 20 from downtown in the first uh, half. And like you said, you, you can't sustain that. So No, you can't. That, that's And that's what's happening here in the second half. I think they've hit 1-3. Yes. Yes, and of course, the It's Money found me through sports for you. And I, I appreciate that, my man. Here's your commercial with the guy going in the urinals. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, I love sports for you. They, like I say all the time, they help out my channel huge. They're the whole reason I stream. And they, they're huge inspirations to me. So, <laughs> Always a big shout out to those guys. I love those guys, man. And next Saturday, not this one, not tomorrow, March 30th, that is a stream you will not want to miss. There is a lot of talent. You know how the 92 NBA team was just the most ridiculous talent in the face of the earth as far as basketball went? Except for Christian Leitner. Yeah, that could have been Shaq. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah. That could have been Shaq. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, that's what you're going to get on – March 30th. You're going to get six of the best streamers on YouTube together in one ridiculous dream stream. A lot of beer, a lot of dumb crap. It is like going to be nonsense times six. Yeah, it's going to be, that's going to be a big nonsense stream. While, while we have March Madness going on. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think tomorrow, I don't know if they're still in here, um, they're having the, the, the stream with Philly 500, aren't they? Oh, the uh, the uh, oh, thank you so much for the super chat, John. He says, "Chris and Bad Dog, I'm so drunk. Good stream, guys." Well, I know that's good. I mean, dilly dilly, my man. Dilly dilly. But he's he's drunk and he's calling it a good stream. So hopefully, Jonathan, if you've been here when you're sober, hopefully you feel the same way when you're sober. Because <laughs> <laughs> you might have the beer goggles on, my man. We all know them beer goggles. We've all had those, and they can be deceiving. <laughs> Rum boys has a sexy voice. Entertain it. Guess who this is? I'm guessing it's Cushman. I don't even see that. Oh, Rum Boys has a sexy voice. Okay. He spelled Rum Boys wrong. There's a Z uh, on the end of it, but it's all good. Yes, Joe, sports is a lot of our lives. Joe Lutz, you look like a raw hot dog, Christian Orsay. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know what he looks like. I know, but that's what's great about it. Raw hot dog. <laughs> look, would you ever eat a raw hot dog? Oh, no, I don't, for, I don't, I'm saying if I offer you money. Oh, yeah. I mean, I need a raw hot dog for money. I mean, that's it's food. 100 bucks. Uncooked. Oh, God, yeah. You're Give it to a, me right now. You're in a raw... You could die from that. I, I would eat a raw hot you, dog you for $100. Could, you could die from eating a cooked hot dog. I, I would eat a raw hot dog for 100 bucks. Absolutely. <laughs> it's like, it, it's be like bologna. It's the same crap. I guess you're right. You know? Yeah. It's just disgusting. I love hot dogs, but not raw. Yeah, I, I would totally do that. How long have I been married? I've been married going on 12 years. I've been with my wife 19 years. Long time. How would I rate Aaron Andrews? I always ask people to smash that thumbs up like they'd smash Aaron Andrews. I'd give her an so, eight and a half. Yeah, she's she's good. I, I'm, I'm about the same. Eight and a half. I'm, I'm a picky, uh, picky, picky eater and picky with my women. I own it down by 16 with 11 to go in the half. I don't know if you want to change it as the corner three. No good. Rebounded by White. I don't know if you want to change it when we get to when Ohio State and Iowa State. Well, they're just starting now. Just you want to start. go to that game as this yeah. is kind of getting out of control? Let's see this possession, see if they score. If right. not, we'll switch it. But, yeah, I think it's about to it's about see. to come to an end in this game, I think. Yeah, let's just take yeah, a look. Oh, nice try to block. Oh, they're going to call a foul. It's up to you. Yeah, I'm going to let, – let's go over to uh, – what is that, is that on True TV? TBS. TBS. Let's go over there. You might have to – I don't remember if I'm ahead of you or you're ahead of me. You want to change the title? I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to do it right now. We've never been – poor. I don't know if he's talking to somebody in the chat. Um, I'm more of a baseball and football guy, though. I can put $1,000 on it. Nobody here can touch me. All right, here we go. I'll, I'll do it. While you're doing that, I'll announce the game. Here we go. Iowa State versus Ohio State. 26-24. Ohio State leads. And Iowa State moving the ball around. They're going to pull up in the paint. No good. Rebound. Buckeyes. Ohio State will bring it up. 26-24. What say? Oh, go ahead. We're good. Oh, you were doing fantastic. <laughs> Weston has it on the perimeter. Kind of hip-checked the defender. Thought about pulling up. Down the paint. Drop step. Kick out for three. 
strings. Ohio State up by five. Beautiful stroke. Oh, that guy had a seizure on the sideline after. Oh, yeah, what, what is that? <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was. Well, yeah, you see that? What the hell happened there? Um, Hawkeyes have it. Left elbow. Right elbow. That's my – that was left. Come on, what am I doing? <laughs> I don't the, know. It's tough to tell, though. I know it is. Spin, kick out. Good interior defense there. Six on the shot clock, driving in the paint. Nice move! Whoa! Whoa. What a what play a that shot. was. Look at the cheerleaders. Ooh. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> no pressure as the Buckeyes bring up. 29-26. They lead 18-40 to go in the half. Kicks it in to the big man who gives it off. Straightaway circle. And dribbling right. Pulls up jumper. Tough contested shot. No good. Rebound and Cyclones. They will come back the other way, pushing across the timeline, dribbling left in the corner, swinging around the perimeter, over to the left, driving the paint, lost it off his foot, and he runs into the official. You As Will Clyde Frazier would say, the old foot trick. You said it was off his foot. It looked more like his, his, I was going to say his crotch. I think he hit it off his crotch there. I think St. Louis lost. It's 34-12. to 12. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. St. Louis is toast. Yeah. 12 points and a half. That's not bad. Uh, no, not bad. I picked the wrong 13 seed. <laughs> a foul hit. Foul in the paint. 29-26 Buckeyes lead. Mr. Bad Dog's got big boobies is in the chat. Oh, that's also Cushman. <laughs> Cushman, Cushman is just making up as many names as he can. Yes. Um, <laughs> that was hot, yes. Yes, that was hot. Oh, what the hell they're talking about it, but Cushman's going all out tonight with these. He uh, is. He with is. These accounts talking about my my and penis, your boobies. Gonna go to the replay here for some reason. And while I do that, I'm gonna eat the rest of this cannoli. Eat that off cannoli. camera, of course. Oh, Jimbo, thank you so much, bro. The super chat, my man. Dilly dilly, brother. Carnal yep. on Dream Stream. He is a great play-by-play -play man. He is not on no. the Dream. I'm not on it, though. Yeah. Not on it. But he is me. I love Sir Cardinal. He's one of my favorite guys. Yeah, good guy. You and Taylor are going to make one. I, I, I Didn't Taylor say she was going to do something on YouTube? I thought she did. Yeah. I thought she was doing my song. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm glad we could cheer you up, Cushman. Yeah. It, took, it, 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 took, it took Bad Dog's boobies to cheer him up. Yes, so we're here for. <laughs> and you're and you're pee pee, as um nice. You need me to eat a. Uh, I'm gonna have a cannoli next nice, stream. Nice steal here by the Hawkeyes. A cyclone. So what the hell am I talking about? I put. A, I'm drunk. Yeah, give him a I'm break. Drunk. Give him a I break. Drunk. No, Jeremy, not, you can't have that many people in there. I, Jet Central doesn't stream a lot. No, I don't know if he does at all, does he? Very rare. He's a very, uh, I think, the best uh, video maker. I mean, he's phenomenal, but he doesn't he doesn't go live a lot. Get a soda poppy. Soda poppy, yes. Buckeyes uh, in the post. Kicks it out. Lost the ball for a second. Regains top of the circle. Now in the post once again. Big man squares his shoulder. Wesson backs down the defender. Wesson double team. Looked like he traveled. Throws it away. And the Cyclones come away with the ball. And a foul. As Woods commits the foul. Looked like uh, Eli Manning trying to hit uh, somebody on a slant. That big man didn't get, he wasn't even budged. And then, yeah, nice shoulder block there. Uh, so Iowa State will have its side out of bounds, down by three with 17.20 to go. And they bring it across the timeline. No pressure being applied by the Buckeyes. Have a top of the circle. Thought about the three. Good defense. Had to throw it off on a pass. Now gets it back. Dribbling left. Now dribbling right in the paint. All the way to the hoop. Top shot. Got it to go. Wow. What a shot. That is a shot that if I was playing horse, I certainly would have an H. What a shot that was. The Emmett Smith doppelganger knocks that one down. It is 29-28 Buckeyes. Such a slow-moving game. They've only attempted. It really two, is. They've only attempted two free throws in three minutes. Thank you so much for the uh, super chat, Jimmo. As the Buckeyes get a nice lay-in, it's thirty-one to twenty-eight. Dilly dilly, my man. I really appreciate it. 
six cha- well there's five, five channels. channels yeah sports fury is one entity josh and sean are one entity. the three no good rebounded by the cyclones and a foul sports Fury is one channel myself the entertainer philly 500 ucf jaguar those are the six guys five channels Chris, where's the stream where you and Bad Dog and other YouTubers... That's Saturday. Joe. That's next Saturday. That's what not we're talking tomorrow, about. March 30th. Yeah, March it's ca- and it's going to be... I don't know the exact time, but I think it's going to be earlier. We're going to start like 4 o'clock. Right around 4 o'clock, yeah. Yeah. What team do you think is going to draft R.J. Barrett? Probably second or third. I mean, it's going to be tough. Zion Williamson will probably be number one overall, and then you're going to have John Moran. Oh, thank you so much for the super chat. He says, I think Chris needs a shot. Jonathan thinks you need a shot. <laughs> Well, Jonathan, I think I need Jonathan's Jonathan. drunk, so that's probably why he thinks that. Yeah, that exactly. He's trying to get us in the. He's trying to get us there. Iowa State knocks down both free throws. They trail by one. At least we have a good game here. Chad Warden says the title is wrong. Oh, I do. I have. Yeah, hold on a second. Joe Lutz says for that stream, he's bringing Honey Jack and a twelve pack. Yeah, I don't blame him. I should bring that myself. Oops. Pop the chat out. So we have a 33-30 game as Ohio State scored, and I was messing around. My dad, I can't freaking get that crap. Kristen Orr I used to have to change the title constantly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tough. <laughs> Not used to doing that. To have it on. The, step back three. Way short. And they, oh, Buckeyes save it. They'll come across the timeline. That looked like Josh Good transition again. defense. That looked like Josh again. <laughs> Jimmy right in, but nice pass. Ball tipped and deflected and intercepted. Back come the Cyclones, the alley oop. Oh, nice defense swatted away. I don't know if that alley oop was going in anyway. That looked like it was a difficult. Uh, yeah. Jallo knocked it away. Good swat there by Jallo, though. Emphatic swat. It was. Big time swat. Get it out of here. We got a Coke truck and an ice cream truck. And. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's going to be that so- the, the Coke Vanilla commercial again. Yeah, yeah. why not? There's the oh, oranges. There is. You got orange and oh, a bunch of oranges and a big ice cream cone. So is the, is the, ice cream, is the cone part of the ice cream part of the soda? Because uh, why do they have the cone? Why don't they just have a big... That's a good point. And I'm yeah. watching this commercial, and I'm thinking how much it costs. This is a high-budget commercial. You I know? just like that one just lands on the ground, and she just drinks it like it's nothing. Like, you don't even know where the hell that thing's been. She's going to put her mouth... <laughs> I don't understand it. Last Jedi is back. Oh, there we go. Good to have Jedi back in the stream. The Jamba Juice says. Uh, Chris Orr says, go ahead and head to your to your King Liquor store. Get your ragu. Get the soda poppies and call the Italians. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Billy, uh, Chris is taking the day off, which I don't blame him. Uh, I got a lot to do during the day. I'm guessing I should be home by 7, so if that's the case, I'm going to do the 7 o'clock block and the 9 o'clock block tomorrow. And then someday, we're streaming every game together. We're going to do half on his channel, half on my channel. We haven't figured out which half is which half, but we're going to do every game. We're going to have the, the, the two godfathers, the mafia brothers, the cannoli brothers, Machino and We're going to hang out all day with you guys on Sunday. It's going to be a blast. We'll probably split up, like, not just the channels, but, like, I'll do, like, all the games for one time slot, then Bad Dog will do so we could save our voices and help each right. other out. I'll be right back. i to blow my nose. That's going to be the horn you hear outside. Be right back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Papa Chris told me he he's coming to fuck. I did not tell you that. <laughs> Chris and <Orr. laughs> And I'll try to do the uh, commercial here. This is the one we've seen a hundred times as he's talking to a duck in a mascot outfit, a big tiger, Rocket Mortgage. Go and get yourself a Rocket Mortgage. And there's the casting couch. What's going on, Cooper Bascal? I won't be on only for an hour because I have a football game on Sunday, Billy. Oh, good luck on your football game. Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm not taking a day off. Well, I mean, you know, I'll take one off Monday. Monday I'll take a night off. Maybe. Do I ever take a damn day off? No, you no, don't. Stream as much as crazy. If I was doing the games all day, right, I'd definitely take some time off. Joe, Lutz, I got to show this to you, by the way. Joe Lutz is friends with me now on uh, Snapchat. Yes. And he sent me this. Uh, he just reminded me. He sent me this earlier. Um, let me see if I Thank can pull, you, Bobby. pull it up. 
Bobby said we're awesome tonight. Oh, you sent me a new snap. <laughs> That's not the one you sent me, though. <laughs> I'm not going to show you that one. <laughs> I probably don't want to see it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to can't, but, or uh, Iowa State can't hit the three. But earlier you sent me one with a cannoli on it. Yeah. I was dying. He had, he had an empty box of cannolis. I was dying to laugh. Cushman Baseball Chat made another account. What has he got now? He says, Cushman Baseball Chat's really ugly. Drop step in the paint. Kick out. Weston for deduce. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by the Cyclones. They try to push the pace. Get it in the paint. Backing down Weston. Nice pass underneath. Up, under, fake. Gets it to go. 33-32. Buckeyes. Nice, nice. job there. That little squirt was able to squeeze that one in. Cool drummers never tried cannolis. By the way, stand up, Goose and Cool Drummer. Two of Bad Dog sponsors of the channel. Thank you so much for being sponsors, guys. Dilly dilly. Three pointer is pure. Ohio State up by four. Nice shot there. 36 32. I don't know what that is. He's looking to the gods. Like, what the hell just happened? They have very weird reactions on the bench tonight. And, uh, yeah, Joe Lutz says, who the hell's never had a cannoli? We say that all the time. There's a lot of people, apparently. Yeah, bad pass. Uh, Buckeye's got number th Bang! The alley-oop is thrown oh! down. <laughs> Iowa State needs a timeout. And there's a seizure. He's having another seizure over there. What the hell is this? This, this is literally, this is what I'm trying to describe. This is what they're doing on the side whenever there's a big play. I, I Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Chris Sonor in one of his streams doing this. 38-32 <laughs> Ohio State leads. J three, no good, and nice offensive rebound. Putback is good. Cuts the lead to four. By the way, this is what a cannoli looks like. You guys ain't seen a cannoli. It's a cannoli right there. That is gorgeous. The beautiful thing. If that doesn't give you like like at least a half a heart on, you're not you're not a real human. Right. Yeah, I, I agree. Bug eyes have it. Nice pass in the paint. Good move off glass for the deuce. 42 34. Buckeyes lead. My bracket is in trouble in these late games, man. I can tell you that right now. I, I am getting mollywopped right now. Yeah, I had Iowa State in this game, too, I believe. I, I did. Have... Off I... goal! What a tough shot! Whew. What a shot that was. How is there not a foul? Did they call a foul? I think he did. I, I couldn't tell what happened here. Looks like there's a timeout. It should have oh, been. Oh, it is. It is a foul. I missed the yes in the foul. It was a foul. So great okay. drive. Hey, the quick commercial of her drinking the Coke. Yeah, they didn't even show the truck this time. It's just her drinking the Coke. Yeah. I don't really need to see that. At least put an attractive. I mean, how are you going to, you know, I mean, come She's on. She's still drinking the Coke. I mean, put, you know, put Allie LaForce out there drinking the Coke. Here we go. We got a, a good racquetball matchup. Let's stream that here. And yeah. she's about to serve. Man, looks like oh. left. He's got good goggles on. And, uh, ooh. Almost got hit there with that 90 mile an hour fast, but we've got a 60 year old middle aged man with a good set of chest hair dives into the pool head first. Yeah. And now we got about 65 year old men hanging out in a sauna with their bellies hanging over their laps as they dip some water over the hot coals. Why the, why the hell do I feel like I just watched a Vic D. Potato video on that one? <laughs> Seriously. That was, that was a, and now we got a TV show as we're in the mist. A couple of girls taking uh, pictures of themselves and a guy with horrible hair. Car just blew up. Nice. She just said something. Can't read her lips. Now, oh, just looked like they took somebody out with a car. Now there's a kick in the face and a kick to the chest. She's punching a tree. Now she punches a guy. He missed him completely, but he acted like he got hit. Um, and it's a show called Hannah, a new series called Hannah. Looks uh, like crap. Yeah, what didn't, else? Get the, didn't get the point of punching a tree. And it wasn't even a, you know, it was a baby tree. And there we go. We got a man in a hat named Randy Watkins. He <laughs> works for Uber Eats. Looks over to, the, to me. Says something. Now he's starting to jog inside a stadium. Well, he looks at his cell phone. He gets to the referees. He's got his Uber Eats. I wonder what's inside. It looks like it could be a box full of cannolis. Oh. They look inside. I, I'm not sure, though. He gives him a look. And he looks disapproved. I don't know what's going on here. As he walks away. Cool, George. Well, you're talking about the cannolis? It's a, it's an Italian thing. It's not a New York, New Jersey thing. It's an Italian thing. Yes. Italian. It's just a, a thing. It should just be a thing, to be honest with you. Now we got a guy with uh, hangy moss. Uh, get a haircut. Now we're showing an old guy here with not so good moss. I think that's his son, maybe. I don't really know. This guy kind of looks like a Chris Hansen's going to be visiting him. And it's uh, about America's most reliable network. 
It's the iPhone XR. There's a bunch of them over there on the left. A lot of and cases. Of Malpa music. A lot of cases there. Good commercial. Solid. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. We got a State Farm commercial again. We got a big mouse that is, some, for some reason, the mascot of the Rockets. As he shoots off T-shirts, don't try this at home, kids, inside the the uh, house as he's putting holes in the wall. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the State Farm commercial there. And the cheerleaders and the uh, mascot will leave the court. I don't remember seeing him in the mascot commercial, so obviously Iowa State gets no love. Yes, you're right. Ooh, that's a, good, a couple of good cheerleaders on that squad. Yeah, and those guys are practicing what they do best, blowing horns. <laughs> We've got a good game here, though. It's 40-36 to 36 Buckeyes with 13 minutes to go in the second half, and the Buckeye. So they didn't call it a foul. They didn't. No, because even going to the commercial, he said he has a chance for a three-point play. You're right. Buckeye's shooting 75% in this half. Look at all the other scores. This is the only game we're calling. Yeah, I know. Oh, thank you so much for the Super Chat Jazzy TV. Really appreciate that, my man. Dilly Dilly says, y'all deserve love. Y'all are awesome fellas. Thank you so much, my man. Dilly Dilly, Dilly brother. Dilly. Really appreciate it. Evan Smith's doppelganger throws it off the backboard. Must have been called for a foul. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick, bad dog. All righty, no problem. Oh, he stepped in the line. I don't think he stepped in the line, but they're going to say he did anyway. Crowd does not like it. Does not like it at all. Coach uh, biting his tongue. Buckeyes up by four. They inbound it to Wesson. Wesson has it, gives it off in the corner. Double teamed in the perimeter. Nice up and under. Oh, what a move. Great ball fake. Got two defenders to leave their feet, and he put it in off glass. Ohio State up by six. Woods with 12 points. Driving the paint. Kicks it out. Drive. alley -oop. And nice lob underneath. Gets it on the reverse layup. Oh, Iowa State cuts to four. 12-12 to go in the second half. Both teams with 16 points in the paint. Ohio State brings it up. Got on the left elbow in the paint to Wesson. Wesson, the big man, trying to back down the defender. He does up and under. Just overpowered the defender. And lays it in off the glass for two. It's 44-38, to 38, Ohio State. Back come the Cyclones. Trailing by six. Left-handed dribble. Nice pass. Corner three. Pure! They had to go. That's a four-point play. It is, right? That's an LJ. I was ready to do and the foul, but the last time they kicked the damn free throw away, so I don't even know. Four point. I come back to a four-point play. Are you kidding me? So the hoop and the arm. My God. How many? How often does that happen? And it, oh, it is a foul, definitely. So uh, Iowa State has a chance to cut this to two. We'll go to a TV timeout as we have a no trespassing sign. Private property, keep out, beware, dog. Tiny dog it is. Uh, two guys there, uh, chick picking up their stuff. Must have been a really private conversation. They stopped. Must have been talking about the mafia or something. They closed the blinds and slamming the door. Please do not disturb. A lot of doors occupied. I got to be honest, dude. That's me in the bathroom right there. I'm going to move as far away as I can from a guy. Uh, shredding paper, locking windows, doors. I'd smash. So what he obviously is he's really ushka ushking her. And uh, she pulls up the window. And now they're closing curtains. And you should definitely close the shower curtain so water don't get all over the place. Now they're locking everything. And now they go to a woman in her bed putting the phone down the wrong way. Why would you put the screen on the thing so you scratch your screen? Makes no sense. All that for a phone. Man looking at a doodle. Now it's like, oh, I guess it was cheer. Uh, oh, this is a, this is, never mind. This is a, a movie trailer. Yeah. Not going to mess with a movie trailer. No, it's not your fries. Oh, you're it's right. Fries. Wait, this looks like a... It's not your fries. Oh, it looked like... They made it look like a movie trailer. Yeah. Entertain, I'm in second place in your bracket, says Crazy Mofo. Was a horrible foul. What's up, G-Man 409? Thank you for joining the stream. Cannoli Brothers. Yes. You're actually in trouble? Is that what you mean? I am too. This this is not going good for me tonight. Uh, Crazy uh, Mofo, yeah, I know you're in second. Yeah. I am not. I've, I've fallen off here. I had a good start, but falling off today. Yeah, I don't know how I did in these games. Well, I don't I don't think I have Ohio State. Yeah, UNC got it. That's why we changed the game, Jedi. They they started to pull away. They were up by 16. We figured it was over at that point. You, another day, if it was a closer matchup, it maybe do. But a 1-16, 16 is not going to come down back from 16 points. It's just no, not going to. No chance. 
Uh, Keith, the game is on, uh, what are we on, TBS? It's on TBS. It's on NCAA.com. You can easily go to NCAA.com and stream the game. It's so simple. That don't yeah. cost anything. Most people What's up, ben? Is, uh, have a TV, so you should be able to watch it on your TV. Or your phone, even. Yeah. If you don't even have a TV and you're commenting on your phone or your computer, you can easily watch it on that. It's really yeah. easy to do. You Type touch. in the letter N, the letter C, and then two A's. I don't know if you know your alphabet, but I, you know I just spelled it out for you. And then hit the little dot and then C O M, and you can go there and you just pick the game you want, and they show it to you. Technology is amazing. You can do anything now on a phone. Whoa! Oh, hold on a second. Look at Whoa. that. Whoa. Uh, wow. I'm not a. I'm not even a uh, chest guy, but Blondie has got some pom poms. And they're real. You see the way they bounce? It's got good yeah, bounce I to noticed. it. Yeah, I noticed. It perked me right up. Yeah, it's got real uh, good uh, bounce to it. Yeah. That, <laughs> But uh, uh, Pigskin Pete, uh, good luck getting late. All right, yeah, uh, go for it, my man. And uh, Brutus is, uh, I don't know, what the hell. He is mopping. He is, what the hell is going on? That is the freaky-looking mascot. I State with a four-point play, he converts it, and they trail by two. Wow. Just like that, we got a two-point game. And here we go. 11.38 to go, second half. Iowa State trails by two. Ohio State with the ball. little pressure there. They get it across the timeline without a problem. 19 on the shot clock. Dribbling it far away from the basket. Now gives it off into the right elbow. Good screen there on the perimeter. Kicking it off in the corner. Back to the elbow. The drive, left-handed drive. Floater in the lane, no good. Tipped up, no good. Rebound, Ohio State. Weston, yes! Out the foul, the big man, Weston. Wow, that is that is a big man. He and was uh, rocking the baby over there, it looked like. <laughs> rocking the baby. Look at, the, look at the power by Weston. The double team, look at this. Is a, that is a man. That is a big man who put that one home. He uses every, every pound he has to get in there and, and muscle his way into the basket. That is a big boy. See if he can convert the three-point play on the other end. Free throw is up. Free throw is good. Ohio State up by five. Big Back lead up. here. They're starting to open up a lead here. A little bit. A little, a little bit. A little, little bit. bit. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Cyclones have it. Dribbling uh, between the legs. Gives it off in the right elbow. And dribbling back to the right. Left elbow. Driving the paint. Right-handed. Up. Under. No good. Rebounded by the Buckeyes. Back they come. Pushing the pace. Kicks it off. Thought about the three. Fake in the paint. Lost the ball. Got it back. Passes it in the back in the paint. No, look, pass. And, nice pass. Yeah. Iowa State will reset now with 10.35 to go. They're up by five. Iowa State is actually the favorite in this game. I, I didn't even realize they were the six. And they have not played like a six seed tonight. No, they have not. Weston not in the all. paint. Got the man in the air. Turnaround jumper, no good. But the rebound is put back, no good. Tip, no good. But Ohio State will get another chance. Pass underneath. What a good look in the dunk. Wow. It's 49 to 42 Buckeyes. Wow. They, I mean, they're just out muscling them. Absolutely. Dominating in the paint. Pull up jumper. Yes. I mean, I don't even think he hit the net. That was such a pure shot. That was beautiful. I didn't even see the net move. That I was, was eating that basket. That was gorgeous, that shot. It's 49 to 44 Buckeyes. They have it top of the circle, giving it off, dribbling left. In the paint, double teamed, and gets it back outside the circle. In the paint to Wesson, the big man, who is dominated. Backs down to the fender, looks across the court in the corner. In the paint again. Oh, get it out of here. Whoa. What a spot back on the, fuck, the uh, cyclo. What a block. Dribbling like it's a little out of control. He thought about pulling from way deep, drives to the right, and kicks it out for three. No good. Rebounded by the Buckeyes. That would have been huge for Iowa State. Yeah. To get yeah. That. And a lot of people said Ohio State didn't belong in this tournament, and uh, they're proving a lot of people wrong right now. Yeah. Cyclones one out of six from downtown in the second half. Only shooting 37% from the floor tonight. Inside to Wesson again. Kicks it out. Straight on three. Whoa, way off. And they'll let that go out of bounds. It'll be a Cyclone ball. 8.49 to go in the half. Buckeyes up by five. We've seen a lot of bad jump shots in this game. And a they, lot. these other games are the UCF up by 19, Virginia Tech up by 22 at the half. 
I think we're going to hang out with our chat for a little bit after this game. I think so, too. <laughs> I don't think those games are worth calling. <laughs> no, they are They are bad. Chris, it feels like a soda poppy. I don't blame you. That was an ugly brick. That was not good. Iowa State needs a basket. They trail by five. Double teamed. Gives it off. Thought about the three. Inside. Nice move. Nice up and under off the glass. Nice lay in there, 49-46 Buckeyes as they bring it across the timeline. Good use of the pivot foot there. Four out of 15 from downtown today in Ohio State. 16 of 31 from the floor. They have it at the top. It's in the March Madness paint job there. Looking for a pick, dribbling left, now dribbling right behind the screen. Thought about pulling back the three, but size better of it. Now he dribbles backwards, goes between the legs, find the shot clock to pull up for three straight on. Back iron on top of the backboard. Tipped and rebounded by Wesson, but he stepped out of bounds. It'll be Cyclone Ball. It just seems like, I mean, this guy Wesson, I mean, every time there's a potential rebound, this guy's getting his hands on it. He was a man amongst boys out there tonight, yeah. without a doubt. Oh, Senor's back. He just finished his shower. Here's Charles Barkley, who gained about 600 pounds since the last time I saw him. He's got the uh, headband down. Um, there's Spike, or uh, yeah, Samuel L. Jackson. He's got a stocking cap. Barkley's uh, suit not fitting him well, neither the shorts. Spike Lee goes up to Barkley's waist. Um, I don't know what Barkley's up. <laughs> now a limo pulls up, and uh, Jim Nance gets out of the car. Where's Tony Romo? He's singing into an ice cream cone, it looks like. And it's a Capital One uh, card commercial. And, uh, Hell of okay. a commercial. Hell of a commercial. And I'm not even going to call this. We've seen it 17 times tonight. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Jedi, yes. Please make sure you hit that thumbs up, guys. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the big red button if you have not done so. And please go into the description. Click on the link to this man's channel. And hit the big red button for him. Support the channel. Thank you guys for being here tonight. Really appreciate it. Really? What? What happened? Drag racing out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just so used to it. I barely even hear it anymore. I okay. wasn't. Well, no, it sounded like there was. I didn't know you could race on the streets of New York City. Yeah, yeah, especially in Brooklyn. But uh, yeah, yeah, I hear that every now and again. That's how. I, that's what I have to sleep to, by the way. I mean, right now it's almost midnight, and yeah, that happens. Yeah, you get, I'd you, sleep right through it. You I, get used I, to it. You get used to it. I'm a sound sleeper. Don't be a lunatic. Leave me a like and get some out. <laughs> what? Yes, there you go, Chris Senior. Exactly, exactly. Don't be a lunatic. Don't don't ever be a lunatic. That's not not really good. <laughs> I don't know what this commercial was. Yeah. Oh, guys, a foot cramp. Oh, that's a that's a Ernie. Uh, what's his name? Ernie, um, the announcer. Ernie Johnson. Ernie Johnson. Yeah. There's another Geico commercial. <laughs> Carolina baby bad dog. Yeah, Allie the Force is hot. You're not lying there. I like her. Uh, yeah, don't be a jerk off. Well, this one's good, Faley. This this one's a good game. The other ones are not. Iona gave North Carolina a scare in the first half, but obviously North Carolina has proved why they're number one. I mean, they just dominated. What's up? The movie critic is here. Thank you for joining the stream. Love the movie critic. What's going on, buddy? I actually bought this shirt in Disney World, um, Chris Sinor, because you know when you go there, they got the big turkey legs. You know what's funny? No lie. I bought this shirt in Disney World. Really? <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> Uh, there you Rainforest, go. Rainforest Cafe. Yep, okay. Downtown oh. Disney. Okay. I like yeah. the shirt. Pump Day. Makes yeah. sense. Pump Day. My wife found that. She said, here, get this. <laughs> I said, okay. Tim Tebow was hot, says uh, Sarah Small. Tim Tebow was a jacked. Whoa, is that Greg Oden? That is. My look God. at the grooves in his head. He looks old. Got that Mark Kelly look going over there. He looks old. Yeah, he's like 25, I think. He <laughs> can't be older than 30, I think. I used to call him LeBron James's dad. He looks like R. Kelly, man, with yeah, that yeah. hair. Yeah, he does. And uh, he played like R. Kelly. He <laughs> uh, fleeced him for like $100 million, never played a damn game, I don't think. Yeah. Iowa State has a chance to cut it to one or tie with a three. Took him over Took Kevin him. Durant, I think. Yeah, he was number one overall and fell on the floor. Whoa. A little extracurricular activities there. A little bit. And uh, Buckeyes will huddle up. 
I don't think I'd want to get in a fight with Wesson anytime soon. This guy's been – he's your type of player. He's been beasting this whole time. Yeah, I love, I love those guys that do the dirty work in the paint. And those are my favorite guys. The guys just make the – oh, he had a man wide open. He didn't throw the ball to him underneath the hoop. Now he's going to pull up from 16 feet. Got it. Nice shot. 49-48, Buckeyes. We might have a game here. We, we, we do have a game here. We have a game. It is a one-pointer. Buckeyes have it, picked up the dribble, gets it back on the left elbow, holding on to the ball, looking for a man, gets it, wide open three. Back iron, no good, too strong. Who else would give the offensive rebound? Wesson passing the paint, laying is good. I can't but remember. Wesson doing it all. I can't remember the last time Iowa State grabbed a defensive rebound. I can't either. It's Wesson crazy. is just dominating. A great look by the big man. Here's Iowa State, gets it back, drive the paint, Kicks out on a bad pass. It goes out of bounds, and it'll be Buckeye ball. What the hell was he thinking? Just bad. I just You can't leave your feet to pass. Uh, Clyde Frazier says every time it's the Cardinal sin of passing. Look at the look by the big man though, right there. No look. Yeah. That guy, I'm, he's the best player on the floor tonight. He is. He, Like I said, he's a man amongst the boys. So Buckeye is up by three. They have the ball coming across the timeline right now. 6.44 to go in the half. Crossover dribble with the right. Now left, gives it off top of the circle. Left elbow. Oh, nice defense. Great tip. And a tip ahead. And here we go. Take off. And he throws it down. Now you didn't really throw it down very already kind of dunk laid it in. Yeah, it was kind of so like uh, a laying dunk. Underwhelming there. It's something I would do because I can't jump anymore. And even when I could jump, that's something I would do because I could never get above the rim to really hammer it down. Right. I could never even get close to the rim, so... But Iowa, Iowa State's cut it to one. And I thought he was going to pull up the three. Dribbles right in the paint all the way to the hoop. Can't get it to go. A little too strong off the glass. Here come the Cyclones with a chance to take the lead. Thought about pulling up for three. Double team. No, gets around the defender. Kicks it out. And he stepped on the baseline. Another unforced turnover. Wow. Wow. Just a horrible turnover there. Um, sloppy, sloppy basketball. Bad awareness. Bad awareness. Welcome to... Yeah, what's going on, C? Thank you for tuning in, buddy. Yeah, what's up, C? How you doing? Faye Lee in the house. Andrew Skywalker is here. Dan St. John. Joe Lutz. Thank you all for hanging out with us tonight. Really do appreciate it. You guys are the best. I say it all the time. Bowie Thong is here as well. What's going on? Do you guys like to make your ice cream liquid and eat it? <laughs> and got a time out here. 5.41 to go in the second half. Buckeyes 51, Cyclones 50. Yeah, we got a good game here. Great game. 51 50. As game we look to the this, What do you mean you like to do that, Christian? Or so, like, you let your ice cream melt? Like, you that's, purposely let it melt and then you eat it? That's gross. Just make a milkshake. Yeah, it's disgusting. Because the ice cream is warm at that point. Why do you want to eat warm ice cream? You just want to lick. Thank you for joining the channel. I really appreciate it. They were in a hurry to get home and watch the stream. That's what it was. They're like, oh, they're like, oh shit, the, the two Godfathers alive. I gotta, I gotta get home. He says he just likes to slurp it. What Who's does that? my shirt say? It says Pump Day. Pump Day. It's Leg Day, so it was Pump Day. Who slurp ice cream? Yeah, I mean, get it, get, just get a milkshake. A milkshake's cold, and you can drink it. You don't need to let your ice cream melt. That's why they make it like that, so you can drink it. Yeah, I mean, who slurps ice cream? So tomorrow, may, maybe I'll do Gonzaga Baylor, and then uh, is it Gonzaga or Gonzaga? How the hell do you say that? Is it? I, is it, I, I think it's Gonzaga, but I say Gonzaga too. Yeah, I don't know how it is. I, I always say it differently every damn time. I have people. I have people. So somebody was telling me that I wasn't pronouncing um, Des Moines right. Nevada. Oh, Nevada. Yeah. Is it I, Nevada? I, Nevada. I guess it was supposed to be Nevada. I was saying Nevada. I said I'm just going to keep saying Nevada. Yeah. Anyway, the, guess what? Buckeyes just got another offensive rebound. They have 10 on the night to the Cyclones' five. They get another chance. The man dribbles, gives it off to Wesson. We all know that big man. He thought about making a backdoor pass, but decided better of it as the man was covered very well. Pull up three, line drive, no good. And guess what? Another offensive rebound. Unbelievable. Wesson in the paint with his back to the basket. Going to post and toast. Double team comes and they foul. A little too aggressive on the double team right there. They must have had 
like one offensive rebound in the first half if they only have eleven because it seems like they've had at least eight in this at least in this second half. It is crazy, man. It is crazy. Like you said, it seems like Iowa State hasn't gotten a defensive rebound in the half. Yeah. Let me get it into Jackson. And oh, you're gonna call a foul. Who's the foul? Wow. Must have been away from the ball. Wow. Crowd does not like it. I, I didn't see a foul there at all. The official tightens his belt as they say, yeah, that's right. I called that. <laughs> Alberta's not happy at all. Let's take a look at this. I, I don't know where the foul is. I, I didn't even touch him. Pass inside to Wesson. Wesson, nice spin move. Wesson using his power up under. Can't get it to go. Another offensive rebound. Wesson got it back. Rejected with a foul. My God. They could have called four fouls on that play. He was all over him. I mean, Wesson has to have ten offensive rebounds on his own. It looked like Wesson was getting giving that guy a piggyback ride. He was hopping all over his back. They just can't stop him, Chris. The guy's too big. Foul. foul. How did they not call foul the first time? He literally, like, had his arm around his head. I mean, I'm not saying this guy is as good as this player uh, by any means. Not not close. Not close. Because, I, I mean, I don't know anything about Caleb Wesson, okay? But he reminds me a little bit of Charles Barkley. I, I mean, watching him play right now, the big body, you know, the, he's, he's got the game overall game. I mean, I haven't seen him really jump shoot, but just the power underneath, the offensive yeah. rebounds. Why do they keep showing Greg Oden? Because he went to Ohio State. <laughs> maybe, remind, maybe they compare them. Um, he was a big guy for Ohio State, but... Um, yeah, and then the other guy he reminds me of actually was a guy that Knicks drafted who was a great college player, uh, Mike Sweetney out of Georgetown. Oh, I remember Mike Sweetney. Yeah. And he did nothing for us either. Yeah. Um, Buckeyes up by three. But yeah, Weston reminded me a little bit of a young Charles Barkley tonight. He wears his number too. I know. I noticed that. Driving right all the way to the hoop. Did your TV just go black? Yes, it did. Okay, and it's back. I guess there was a foul. I was... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Maybe somebody showed. Maybe uh, maybe one of the cheerleaders showed off their uh, their goods or something. But yeah, uh, the oh, t- there. TV just went black. Yeah, that was very strange. What just happened? I thought maybe it was mine. They inbound, so it was not a foul. Iowa State or Iowa State rather trails by three in the paint. Baby hook off the glass. Nice shot there. Deep position couldn't do anything to stop him. And this game has been very close uh, throughout. 53-52 Buckeyes. That was a great shot there. Uh, Weston had at least three or four inches on him, able to use his body to get that hook shot off. Yeah, very nice. Again, Weston with a great pass in the paint. Weston going to pull the trigger for three. Oh, he can't get it. And they're going to call a loose ball foul. So that's the closest that Iowa State's going to get the (laughs) the board. They get a a foul call. It's amazing with the amount of – Offensive rebounds that Ohio State has gotten in this second half that Iowa State right. is right in this game. Yeah, guy putting deodorant on. They're doing push-ups or they'll sit-ups, and they suck at it. Guy's screaming in his face with a megaphone because he's garbage. Looking at him with pissed off, cross-eyed almost. Degree. <laughs> and Kim we, um, Mexico's in the chat. Oh, Kim in Mexico, and Taylor's back. Kim, she says, I was good, but the doctor said my blood pressure was up due to too much social media keeping me awake at night. <laughs> kid you not. Well, so Taylor's back, so now the females are back on the stream. They come back late. Yes, Taylor. Playboy, Donald, and Adolph were here tonight. Nevada. I, what's that? She, she says, Nevada, according oh. to my high school district in Las Vegas in fourth grade. Nevada. Um... Ben Lampy, I want Iowa State to win. I got them going a long ways. And actually, I don't think I have them going as far in your bracket. I think I have them losing to the next round. But in my uh, my other bracket, I have them going to the elite. The uh, I have them going to the elite eight. I have them upsetting everybody. Who? Iowa State. Wow, I'm going to the elite. Yeah, eight? Yeah, I have them going to the elite eight. That was, that's my big because I have Wofford beating Kentucky in that bracket, and then I had Iowa State beating. Wofford. But I'm telling you right now, watching this game, if Iowa State did meet Wofford, Wofford's going to beat them. Yeah, Wofford looked great. Yeah, I really like that Fletcher McGee kid, man. He was he was good. He was good. It's your boy Haynes says I picked Liberty to win tonight. That was a good pick. Chad has a question for me. I missed it. Anybody new to the channel, guys? Please hit that thumbs up for me. Hit that big red button. Ring the bell. Thank you for joining. And please make sure you go into the description. It's the first link in the description. Sub. Oh, oh, oh. 
Just uh, subway that man right there. Hit his big red button. Ring the bell. Can't say and the S word. You guys have Twitter. My Twitter's in there as well. So you can follow me on Twitter. The Twitters. And uh, thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate it. We agree that. Uh, we, uh, we appreciate that, uh, Joe. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you, Joe. Much, much appreciated. Yeah, Fletcher McThree is what I was calling him last night. I just kept calling him McThree because he was drilling threes all over the place. There's Chris Collinsworth. What is going on, my man? Thank you for joining us. He says, what's going on? Family is going full. March Madness model. Oh, full, yeah, I can read. That's an exclamation point. Full March Madness mode. Five screens out of my living room. Nice, Chris. And I bet you can call every game at the same time. That's how good you are. Oh, that would be amazing. I yeah. would love to try to do that. Yes. How you doing, Honky? Yeah. I just got I get it. it. <laughs> I get it. He, he, who, ha. And we see the uh, the band doing what they do best, blowing yes. on those horns. And Cushman made another uh, another account. Um, some crazy upsets today. You're not lying about that. Yeah. We almost, and, had, we almost had a two versus 15. Tennessee struggled. Tennessee did struggle. Duke struggled in the first half. Uh, Carolina struggled in the first half, but uh, all those teams were able to pull it out. And Iowa State has a chance to take the lead for the first time in a long time. They have it at the top of the circle, 343 to go in the half. They trail by one. In the corner. Dribbling left. Pulls up from 18 feet. Got it! Nice Iowa shot. State takes the lead. I can't believe they're winning. I know because they have not been. They've gotten now rebounded the the whole game. They've gotten killed on the uh, offensive glass. First lead since the seven minute mark of the first half. That's what I'm saying it's been a long time since they've had the lead. Weston has it on the elbow, gives it off, drilling with the right hand. Number thirty two crossover left, spin in the paint, shot, tough shot, got the roll. It's a great, Buckeyes up by one. Great spin move to get uh, to get separation there in the paint. And I'm looking at this other game. VCU trying to make a game of it up there. They're only down by 10 with five minutes to go. All right. Maybe we'll, get, a, maybe we'll get something to call there. Maybe. We got a good one here, though, Chris. Bad yeah. pass. Stolen. And a hard foul. Oh. Just had an ambulance drive by. Probably checking on my health since I've been streaming all day. Yeah, that or they could be checking on the guy that just hit the floor. I think that was <laughs> West's brother. My God, he took an elbow and then a knee to the face. Uh, yeah. Threw it into the uh, defender's groin area as well. <laughs> I, he's like, get off of me. Oh, that's Jallo. I'm sorry. So, foul on the floor. Ohio State will inbound from underneath their own basket. And they get it in without a problem. Top of the circle, driving left, and a foul again. So now they are in. Nope, they're still not in the bonus. That's six fouls. There's not been a lot of fouls in this game. Yeah, either half. Not at all. Yeah. Turtles in the chat, thank you so much for bringing those, MH. Really yeah. appreciate that. You know, that always gets me excited. Of course. Uh, who let the dogs out, says MH. He brought the puppies. Corner three, Good. Huge shot for the Buckeyes right there. Woo! That was pretty. That was. And a great ball movement again. Found himself wide open. VCU only down by seven now. So that is getting close. You might have to flip over there after this. Iowa State in the corner. Pulled up for three. In and out. Tip is good. I didn't even see. I didn't even see. The Cyclone in there in the midst of all the Ohio State trees. And they give him a taste of their own medicine. Lord, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, how he stuck in there. He was guarded by Wesson. Wesson took up the whole screen. Yeah, and you would think a guy named Lard would be bigger. <laughs> yeah, he's tall, but he's lanky. Um, Lard, I love every bastard in here, Joel. I think Joel is si sipping on some of that uh, honey jack, which I love. And uh, and once again, uh, so uh, <laughs> Kid Blue's in the Kushner chat. made another uh, account. Oh, Kid Blue has nice skin. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Ohio State winning would definitely be an upset. They're an 11 seed. So, yeah, the UCF VCU game is uh, getting close. It's definitely getting close. Did someone say Honey Jack? <laughs> Movie critic says. Yeah, bald heads, tacos, turtles, and dolphins. Yeah, I need a haircut tomorrow. I'm gonna shave my head again. That's due. Sideburns are getting dark. I gotta yeah, shave. 
or two. That's definitely going to happen. I wanted to get a haircut tomorrow before work, but it's probably going to be too packed on Saturday. So I'm yeah. going to have to wait till Monday when I'm off. It's the great thing about having no moss. You just take your clippers and just buzz it. Yeah. I ain't got to go, have a barber actually messing my hair. What the hell is there? They'd laugh. They'd be like, are you serious, buddy? <laughs> they, imagine going there and getting your hair cut and they charge you 15 bucks for that. I know. What the hell for? <laughs> Who do you guys have coming down the nets in April? Duke, both of us. Yes. Both of us have Duke, Chris. Duke over Kentucky. Actually, the barbershops in Brooklyn, they are freaking expensive. Oh, I'm sure they are. There's uh, there's one two blocks up. It's $25, and then there's another one. It's 23 I think we got some blood going on here. And they're going to wrap him up. He stuck his tongue out. I don't know what that was all about. Looks like he's giving blood. As I'm saying, I'm taking his blood pressure. His tongue, he's licking his hand. I wiped his saliva all over his uh, elbow, wipes his nose, and they're ready to go. It's disgusting. I, a lot of uh, a lot of bodily fluids uh, coming out of that player. Love it. Snot, saliva, and blood all at once. 58-56 Buckeyes. And Iowa State needs a stop. Wesson gives it off. Top of the circle. Now to the right elbow in the paint to Caleb Wesson. They don't come with a double. What? Oh, my God. Oh, get it out of here with a foul. Oh, Wesson just got so All of a sudden, this guy's waking up, this this tall, lanky guy on uh, yeah. Iowa State with a big swat, but there's a foul there. Wesson just uses his body, bangs the defender out of the way. Again, I don't see a foul at all there. The crowd don't see a foul. I, don't I see didn't see foul. a foul there. No. That was not a foul at all. Well, they probably do trim ear and nose here. I mean, that's usually what they do. Oh, the barbers? Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, they do whatever. I, I One thing I've always wanted to do that I've never done, I've always wanted to go and get a shave. I've done it. From the barber. It's expensive, though, but I've done Is it. Is it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's as much as a haircut. Like, I if, I, if I get a shave and a haircut, it's almost 50 bucks. Really? Yeah, because the haircut's 25 and then the shave's like 20 Wow. And then you tip Holy. them like 7 bucks or whatever. And yeah, Holy Jesus. Yeah. That's nuts. I couldn't tell you, I, I couldn't even tell you the last time I had a haircut in a, in a salon because I've been shaving my head for so long. Yeah, I would, I, I've only done it once because I was in a rush. I think I had something to go to, so I said just do it. Yeah. Here's Weston's first free throw. It's good. Buckeye's up by three. Just under two minutes to go, 159 to go in the second half. Nice stroke there. Very nice. A couple bad calls here against Iowa State down the stretch. Knocks them both down. Buckeye's up by four. This guy pays $55 for his haircut. He must go to a salon. He's not going to a barbershop paying pay, pay that. Well, I know that they're I know they're higher than upstate, but it's still ridiculous. At 50 bucks for a shave and a haircut, it's just stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Double team on the corner and a steal. And this one is just about over, ladies and gentlemen. The Buckeyes will walk it up. They up by four. Basket here pretty much ends this game. That UCF game looks like it's over, too. Yep. So, I mean, even if the Buckeyes can't get a uh, shot, you know they're going to get the offensive rebound. They've been doing it the whole game. <laughs> they Weston might as well just keep about, getting offensive rebound. <laughs> yeah, Wesson thought about pulling the trigger on the three. Five in the shot clock. A screen by Wesson. Floater in the lane. No good. Rebounded by the Cyclones. They need a basket here. One ten to go in the second half. They trail by four. All right. They still got some time here. Kicks it out. Great ball movement. The three in the corner. No good. And rebounded by the Buckeyes. Now it's getting close to over. And that was about as good of a look as you can get. Got to knock that one down. They don't. And it's 60 to 56 Buckeyes and a timeout by Ohio State. Yeah, but I, I, I just always have a problem with somebody else holding a blade to my neck. Yeah, you get nervous with that. I, yeah, I get a little nervous with that. I don't. I don't know the guy. He's gonna. He's gonna put a straight razor on my neck. Yeah. Is that what a lineup is when they when they make the make it look neat? The beard. Oh, I have. I have no idea. Oh, okay. I don't ever make my beard look neat. I just shave the damn thing off and let it grow. Yeah, I've never. I've never had a beard. I've thought about it in the past, but it would, it takes too long and it looks bad while you're waiting. Yeah, I, it doesn't take me long at all, but it itches like hell. Like it, it's just, it's just itching me right now. I think this is four days, and it's just it's itching the hell out of me. They charge you twenty bucks to breathe. Well, that sucks. Well, why would you take a three? That because he was he was wide open, Jed. I mean, that was a great. Sh I mean, a great look. He just couldn't hit it. Picked Ohio State. So did I. 
I guess I should have. 35 bucks. that's pretty cheap, actually, Joe, for everything that you said that he does. He does a lineup, he does the beard, the shave, and the haircut. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's reasonable. Well, women's hair is different. I mean, they, they have all kinds of stuff going on there. Yeah, I mean, women, but stylists, they don't go to barbers. And they only, they don't go, I mean, a guy, I mean, I would like to go every other week. I'd probably go every three or three and a half weeks because I'm just so busy. But um, women go like twice, three times a year. Right. You they know? get their hair colored, they get it yeah. trimmed, they get it styled. You know, they get they get all kinds of stuff done. Twenty bucks for a massage is pretty damn good, David. Pretty damn good. So uh cyclones are gonna need to stop here, without a doubt. Sixty to fifty six. Man, this is really the only close game. All these games tonight have been blowouts. Ten on the shot clock. About 40 feet from the basket. Looking for a screen. Dribbling left. In the paint. Pull-up jumper. Short. And here comes Cyclones. Pushing the pace. And now they pull it out. They got to hit a three here. They got to do something. I mean, there's one. they got to shoot. Step yep. back three. Go! Oh, my goodness. What a shot right there. We what got a, a game. Shot. Just like that, we got a game. 21, uh, wow. 21 seconds. If they hit two, it's still a one-possession game. That was an incredibly tough shot. Just a step back three and nothing but the bottom of the net. And now this opens up a lot of options for you because now you're not forced to take a three. Uh, making that You had to go for a three there, in my opinion, because now if they hit both, it's a one-possession game still. Exactly. Um, yeah. But now if you foul him in a second and he hits both, you still have the option to get a quick two um, and then foul again. Yep. So that, yep. That, that was a big shot there, hitting that three. Huge, huge shot. That was clutch, cool drummer, absolutely. Roger Goodell might end the NFL Sunday ticket. I don't think he'd ever do that. You know how much money that makes for the NFL? Why would they end the NFL Sunday ticket? No, they'll never do that. Well, they they'll might never. eventually, but I, I, not in any any time soon. But I will say there were. I work for the cable industry, so I know there were talks like two or three years ago, maybe it was four years ago, that the Sunday ticket was going to become expanded to all cable providers, and then it got discontinued. Uh, that sucks. I could use that. Well, that's the best thing. I mean, being a Giants fan, well, I would only need Sunday ticket when they play on CBS, obviously. And you, and you know, like, you know where DirecTV makes all their money? Sports bars. Oh, I'm sure. Because every sports bar needs the Sunday ticket. Of course. And not, not many houses have DirecTV. It's where they make their money in the sports bars. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, because they do. Everybody goes to the sports bars to watch it. So yeah. I think Max is nervous. So you got Iowa State or Ohio State. It is a nerve wracking game either way. But uh, anybody new to the channel, guys, please hit that thumbs up for the old boy bad dog. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that big red button. Ring my bell. Ring please it. Go in the description. Oh, almost a turnover. And they dive in the floor. And they almost, oh, Iowa State almost had a turnover. Wow, they should have. So close to a huge mistake by the Buckeyes. He didn't have he to didn't. dive there. He could. I mean, I, uh, know, he I, 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 I actually know he did have to dive. I give it back to him. But as I was saying, please uh, hit that big red button for me. Ring the bell and go into the description. Click on the link to the Entertainer Talking Sports. Hit his big red button and ring his bell. Ring it. Ring it. Here we go. Let's Why go. Why not overtime? Why not? Could I say it all the time. Why not overtime? Could the I other two games are done anyway, so why not overtime? Ivy Max, what's going on, Ivy Max? Yeah, thank you for joining, Ivy. We appreciate it very much. And uh, I don't remember Lisa being in here, but... Uh, oh, we got a female? Yeah. Oh, she says uh, John Ethan Danielson uh, and support uh, him with his broken wrist. Well, sorry to hear he broke his wrist. I've broken my wrist a couple times. It's not fun. Weston trying to inbound it. Got to get it in. Got to get it in. That's a five second. He called the timeout. I'm not even going to ask you, Bad Dog, how you broke your wrist. I don't think I, I want to know. No, I'm, just you, I'm just joking with you. <laughs> I can tell you. Bro. I was uh, playing first base, uh, and I jumped up to grab a ball that was over my head, and the guy hit me in the legs, and when I came, I got flipped over when I came down. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Luckily, I, I, it was actually my left wrist, so luckily it didn't mess up. I uh, my bowling. <laughs> I've, probably, I, I've probably had eight sprained ankles in my life, and 
all of them were playing basketball, and they all happened the same exact way. Or your foot. You, no, I went up for a rebound, and you land on the other guy's foot. Every, yeah. Every time, all eight times. Yeah. And I remember one time it blew up like a grapefruit. I couldn't walk for like a, almost That's two off. Weeks. Yeah. Yeah, I broke my ankle, you know, both of them playing football. It was, it was the end of my track career, too. My track coach wasn't very happy with me for that. But football got all the women, so I wanted to play football, even though I was too small. I could run like the wind, but they weren't like, ooh, you're fast. Anyway, the inbounds pass and a quick foul with 18.7 to go. Buckeyes will go to the charity stripe. This is going to be a one and one. So, I mean, this is enormous. Yeah. Because if you don't make the first one, Iowa State can win with a deuce. Yeah, this is huge. Oh, here we go. This is. Keyshawn Woods, he's an 82% free throw shooter. He has 17 points. His first trip to the line. Blowing on his hands because I'm sure it's very cold in there. That is a nervous <laughs> reaction. I mean, that's just, that's nervous. I bet she doesn't do it every time. He flips the ball up in the air, bends the knees, dribbles, lost the ball, almost shot. He knocked it down. And, uh, Joe, I'll tell you that in the group chat after why I stopped playing baseball. Oh, you gotta have them. You gotta have them, man. Mate, you're just as important to uh, the stream as uh, anybody else. Loving the ladies swing by. Oh, you gotta, you gotta have ladies in your chat. Bends the knees. Second shot is good. Two huge free throws. Iowa State's out of timeouts, I believe. They pick the ball up. They dribble down the court. They can get a quick two, but they're taking too much time. Fourteen on the sh on the clock, and a foul. A bad foul by the Buckeyes. Can't do that. I mean, yes, they can't tie it now, but uh, it's still a lot of time. Yeah. They kind of bailed him out for not having a good set play there. Exactly. And this will be a one and one like you said. So, I mean, this is the game. If he misses the first, the game's over. Yeah, he's got to make them both. If he misses one, they have a chance because the other guy could miss one. Right, but right. He, if he misses the first, the game's over. He's got to make them. Yeah. It's uh, Cameron, Cameron Lard. It's just a great name. He's only a 66% free throw shooter. And he hasn't gone to the line tonight. And so this must be a clock thing they're looking at? Yeah. St. Louis trying to fight back in that game. UCF has already won. Cody Johnson says he used to play baseball, but I never went. I never went Paul baseball alone in the play for the Yankees. Okay. Talking nonsense. You're talking nonsense, I mean. Talking nonsense. Mopin, Ohio, that's where I'm from, says Team Backpack Gaming. Cowboys Longhorns in the stream. Techie's back. I have a failed neck surgery. Ooh. Oh, damn, David. You got carpal tunnel, lower back surgery next to my God, brother. Sorry to you hear that, David. got a lot going on there. Sorry to hear that, David. I thought oh, they were looking at who was fouled. He missed it. Game over. Yeah. Weston is fouled. That will do it. That's the game. My bracket got busted tonight's game. Holy Jesus. I lost every freaking game except for that North Carolina one. I won Vatek. I won this one. I won North Carolina. What's the other one? Uh, UCF, VCU. I had UCF. I went 4 for 4, actually. Yeah. Well, I lost them all. You went 0 for 4? This is, why, this is why I don't put money on these brackets. I never do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> actually, I had a good night. Well, 4 for 4. So this will seal the game. And, oh, he missed it. He missed it. And we forgot it was a one. Back up the Cyclones. We forgot it was a one and they one. They got a chance to tie it for three. Oh, rebound is, that's going to do it. They had a shot. They had a shot, and they could not get it done. Wow, they had a good look, had a too. Chance. They had a good look, too. Ohio State escaped with a victory. Yes, uh, they did. Oh, no, I went 3-1. and one. I, I had Iowa State as well in this game. Yep, yeah. Iowa State can't get it done. Wow, I did not expect shot. that. I did not they expect that. I didn't either. Yeah, and uh, Vatek is going to – they're killing St. Louis. 15 uh, points. Yeah. Damn, I had Iowa in the Elite 8, Jeremy said. So did I, Jeremy. Yeah, same thing. Because I listen to stupid analysts. That's my problem. I should never listen to them. I, I heard a guy tell, oh, Iowa State, they can make a run. They're a really good team. They didn't have a great look. He just uh, shot it a little left. Yeah, and it's as good of a look as you could ask for in that situation. Yep, definitely. I mean, that was a uh, chance. He just didn't get enough air under the ball. Just missed it, too. 
Yeah, but I mean, yeah, they, you know, Caleb Wesson just dominated this game. I mean, they could not, they could not get a, a, a defensive rebound, and Ohio State killed them in the paint, killed them in the paint. Yeah, yeah, the, the offensive boards were just ridiculous. What, other, uh, what channel is that other game on? I might as well go over there anyway. There's still a lot of time in it. Yeah, maybe it'll get interesting. What is it? CBS? Nope. It's got to be True TV. It's the last one I'm looking at. 30, for me, it's 35. All right, so St. Louis. St. Louis, what are they, the Billikens? I don't even know. I think they're the Billikens. Billikens. Bill Ikens, okay. <laughs> St. Louis, Bill Ikens versus... The Virginia Tech Hokies. You would love to see Chris on the diamond. I used to be a good pitcher uh, in high school. I threw, I probably topped out at 85, 86 fastball. Okay. Well, we are at another commercial. We tuned in just in time for a commercial. Yep, yep. What we love when we get those. Never, you can never see enough commercials. What would these streams be without commercials? Uh, a lot better. <laughs> Showing the highlight to what we just called. Uh, Nature Boy. I'd be mad if my team name was the Billikens. That's what he said. Oh. Yeah, I lost a lot today. But in your bracket, I, the only one I lost went to the Sweet 16 was Wisconsin. I didn't lose any other Sweet 6 because well, I don't have all – I had Iowa State losing in the next round. That's what's the key. It's not even so much your, the first round, how many you get right. It's how many – Teams that you get in the future rounds that move on. Right, because those are where all points are yeah, scored. Yeah, yeah. And I think I got two out in the Sweet 16, but all my Elite 8s and all my Final 4s are still alive. Sports Beds Daily says, what's going on, my man? What's up, man? Working on my second cannoli of the night. <laughs> and we got a 15-point game here. St. Louis comes up with a steal. Goose says, green squad in the house. Oh, you're gonna have to pause it. You're way ahead of me. I'll, you know what? I'll just take out. You've been, you've been calling all the. I'll call this one. What's that? I'll call this. All one. right. Yeah. St. Louis brings the ball up, fifty to thirty-five, eleven eighteen to go. Hopefully, we get a competitive game here. They spin it around. They're in a man-to-man -man defense. Between the legs, dribble, gets it to the lane, spin move, poked away, and Vatek's gonna come up with it. They lead by fifteen. They go coast to coast, layup, no good, but he's fouled. He'll shoot two. You are so far ahead of me. It's not even funny. It's that bad. Yeah. I think this was the first time we all... Just, just got fouled. <laughs> all right, let me pause it. It's like 10 seconds. I'll pause it. All right, I'm where, gonna... you, where you pause it, what's your TV looking like? I just played it again. Um, they're all... I'll, it's at 11... Oh, well, it's paused right now, so I'll tell you when... Well, it's going to be 11.05 because the clock stopped. Yeah. Now they're just showing a replay of him on the floor, on the purple floor. No, that's where I am right now. So I'm probably still a couple of seconds. Yeah. And then he slipped. It looks like he hurt his ankles. He was running over to help his team. Yeah, oh, yeah, we just saw that right there. Ooh. Now they're shooting the free throw. And first one is no good. He just missed it on my channel. So you're like two seconds ahead of me. All right, I just paused it for a little bit more. And I just heard somebody join my channel, so thank you so much for joining the channel. Oh, really you, heard, you, heard the, you heard the horn? The horn I did, yes. Yes, yeah. thank you for joining the channel every time I horn Appreciate horns. it. Appreciate it very much. Jedi brought the horn. I don't know how the hell she got that. She does that every time. Every time somebody honks on my channel. And here it we go. Strange. 51-35. Vatek up 16. The Billikens. Billikens, whatever you want to say, bring the ball up. Virginia Tech and a man-to-man -man defense backs him down. Open three at the top of the key. Splash. 51-38. Nice a shot. Good open look. Silky smooth from deep. And now, this could get interesting, Chris. Got a lot of time. Yeah, here come the Hokies. Virginia Tech leads by 13. They've been leading pretty much wire to wire. He yeah. Goes strong with the right hand. Finds his man at the top of the key. He's going to try from distance. No good. Yeah, great look. Couldn't get it to go. Rebound St. Louis. Here they come. Pull up three. Splash! And we got wow. a point game all of a sudden. 51 41. Just like that, we got a ball game, bad dog. We do. Ten points. I mean, this was like 22 points a second ago. And here comes Vatek. Have it up at the top of the key. Just over ten minutes to play. 
17 on the shot clock. Goes left. They cut him up. They cut the dribble up there. He's going to pass to the right. Goes around the pick. Into the lane. Floater. Off the backboard. No good. But there's a foul. A nice head of Moss. You got to love the Moss. <laughs> you got to love the Moss. <laughs> Amazing Moss. Three pointers will do it, man. You get hot from three. Anybody get you, you? A team gets hot from three. That's why I had Watford going as far as I did because if they if they can hit the threes, man, they're going to beat a lot of teams. Yeah, they were, and first free throws good. Yeah, they were draining threes in that game. They were. I took St. Louis, Mike. That's what I'm saying. I'm having a rough rough nine o'clock block here. Fifty two forty one. Vatek leads, and uh, they're about to take another free throw. Justin Robinson at the line. Six. And pure. He's got seven now. That's an interesting looking outfit there. He's got a vest on. Yeah. Uh, got a tie tucked in the vest. Uh, 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 that's a clean look. Uh, pair of eye pokers. St. Louis, St. Louis has it. They get it down low. Spins to the left. Turn around. Jumper's good off the glass. 53 wow. 43. Nice move. Very tough shot. And a uh, strong finish for the two. And here comes Vatek as they bring it across the timeline. And they're going to set up the offense. 9.35 to go. They swing it around, and uh, St. Louis coming out in the man-to-man. -man. Dribbles to his left around the pick. They pick him up at the top of the key. They swing it around to the right. Back to the center. Into the paint. Shot is no good. Back rimmed. It gets his own rebound. Bobbled around, and I don't know who's got it. They come out with their own rebound. Another offensive board, and they're going to set up the offense. Wow, that was all over. That ball is batted all up like a freaking volleyball, man. It was all <laughs> over the place. To cro cro uh, quote Chris Berman, bumbling, stumbling, and we've got he, <laughs> 15 seconds. He goes to his left, and he's there's a foul. I think it's going to be on the floor. Yeah, he couldn't turn the corner, but a foul. But St. That St. Louis is in the penalty, so they will shoot a one and one Yeah. That's pretty good, Cooper, 29 of 32. Well, you can't be 29 yeah. of 32. This game's not over yet. You're well, assuming. you must have Virginia Tech, I'm guessing. He's assuming. Don't I assume. can't tell you how many times I've started off the first the first weekend or the first round, and I've had 27, 28, 29 wins, and then it just completely falls apart. It's all about the later rounds. He missed the free throw, by the way. Big missed yeah. free throw. Here yeah. comes St. Louis as they trail by 10. Crossover dribble behind the back. Double teamed at the top. He's going to pass it up, pass it to the man on the right. And now they're going to set up the offense. 8.48 to go, 17 on the shot clock in this 10-point. Wow. Thank you so much for uh, joining the channel. That was a big join. That, that was, was a, a big person. Huge join. St. Louis pull-up jumper, no good. Back rimmed it. They're going to get their own rebound. They'll set up the offense again. And don't you know we are trying to broadcast the game here? And yeah. St. Louis has it. 8.28 to go. They're going to double-team him. <laughs> double him on the side. Fakes the three. Pull-up three. No good front rimmed it. They're going to call a foul on over the St. Back. Louis over the back. It's on the Moss. On the Moss. Yeah, that is nice. Look at that. Great Moss. Great that is, Moss. That is pretty good. Um, yeah. Go Zags, it says Melvin Stewart. Yeah, I got the Zags in the final four without a doubt. Um, he's already practicing free throws. Dire Time Spin says, Chris, how the hell do you sleep through that? You get used to it. Yeah. I can't explain it. I remember the first week or two I moved into this apartment, I couldn't. And then you just get used to it. You do. Yeah. Like I said, I, I am such a sound sleeper. Nothing except for if I lose power in the middle of the night and my fan goes off, I'll wake up before that motor stops running. I can hear the fan turn off. But I'll sleep through a thunderstorm like nothing. Yeah. Won't hear it. First free throw is good. 54-43 Va Tech. And here comes the second. Bends the knees. Good. 55-43, down by a dozen. And yeah. we got 8.21 to go. And, uh, oh, he's got nice uh, pigtails. You're my twin. E eating two cannolis the same day as me. That you're a creep. Well, both, Joe. Yeah, both. a little bit of both. Yeah, Cody, I'm going to do um, I'm going to do a couple of games tomorrow. I'm not going to be home most of the day. And I know Chris is taking a day off. He works anyway. So I'm probably going to do, I don't know when I'm going to get home. If I'm home by 7, I'll do the 7 o'clock and the 9 o'clock. It might just be the 9 o'clock. But I'm do, going to do something at the end of the night. And then Sunday, we're doing all the games together. We're going to do all the games together. Half on his channel, half on my channel. Wow, an offensive foul. Yeah, offensive foul as he sticks the tongue out. Eight minutes to go, 55-43. Yes, we will be streaming. Somehow we're going to do this. I don't know. Hopefully we can make it. We'll be going wire to wire we'll on make Sunday. It. 
We'll make it. Why do I have an OU hat on? Because I like the Sooners. That's why I have an OU hat on. Same reason I have a Mets hat on. I like the Mets. I like the Sooners. I mean, I didn't even get the commercial. Yeah, it's just Charles Barkley. Yeah. I don't get it. Oh, they called it a Chuxedo. Uh, it's a, a Chuxedo. A Chuxedo. <laughs> Jim Nance is wearing the same thing. I didn't even notice that the first time. Yeah, I noticed it the first time. Let's see Boomer Sooner, doing. Jedi. Damn right. Damn right. Techie says, all the game Sunday, I'll rub my nips and try to get on cam. Oh, uh, Kuram, you're a Sooners fan too? Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Make sure you join. You were here last night. I don't know. I've seen, I've seen her name before. It Maybe was in my was. stream today. That's what it was. So make sure you join the channel, man. I'll be streaming all the Sooners games. I do that every every week. I stream the Sooner games. So those are much better than my Giants game. Well, depends on who you ask. Giants games, you see a lot of rage. Sooners games, you see a lot of happiness. Unless we're playing Alabama and getting killed, then I get ticked. Um, but we see more happiness this year as Giant fans. Yes, that'd be great. Great if that happens. <laughs> Nice for a change. Yes, we haven't seen, we haven't been happy for quite some time. Yeah, and uh, here's this commercial. Ernie Johnson coming in. Yep. Looks like he's drunk. Yeah. Oh, he just bumped into that guy. Gave him a dirty look. These two guys don't even want to watch Ernie Johnson. They're just looking at their Geico app. It's not even a real app. Ernie Johnson talking trash, looking like trash. As a matter of fact, <laughs> <laughs> that's about right. Oh, he gives a thumbs up. He just thumbs up the stream. Yeah, good. thank you for doing that, Ernie. We really appreciate that. Yeah. Um, Jets going to be sneaky good. Mo yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. My team is UCF in college. Nice, Cody. Well, they had a big win tonight. They had a big win. I suppose UCF Jaguars is not in the chat. Yeah, well, his team played tonight. Maybe he was watching the game. Yeah, maybe he was there. Maybe he's, he's probably got like four of the UCF cheerleaders with him. Oh, he definitely does. They won, right, UCF? Yes, they did. So now they got a tough match to play at one seed next round. Yeah, yes, they do. Jets are going to be good, Joe Lutz. Appreciate that thumbs up, McDougal. Yes, thank you, Kenny. Much appreciated, my man. Uh, you guys are doing great. Dilly dilly. Thank you, David. I appreciate that. Voir ragazzi stat andado alla grande. I'm a Duke fan, and my cousin went there. Oh, all right, you're a Duke fan. I thought you said the same here when I said I'm an oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm an Oklahoma fan. Bad you were pumped in the Giants draft this year. I was happy. I, w I wouldn't say I was pumped, but I was I was happy with the pick. I was very happy. Joe Lutz says, tell you, you have to pass one of those cheerleaders off. She. And it's 51-43. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Jenna. I mean, they could. Virginia didn't look impressive today. I mean, I'll be rooting for Oklahoma to beat Virginia. And that's just how it goes. You know, when your bracket's busted, then you just root for the, the biggest upsets you could find. Not that my bracket's busted, because like I said, I saw 15 out of the 16 teams in the Sweet 16, so or tomorrow will tell me a lot more how good my bracket is or not good. You know, we got, that's uh, when you want to start winning your games. we got eight minutes to go here. Vitek's going to bring it up as they lead by two, uh, by 12, 55-43. I wish they led by two. It would be, it'd be <laughs> nice. Let's, let's hope it gets to that point. Yes, they bring it across the timeline, setting up the offense. 17 seconds on the shot clock. We're just under eight minutes to go. Between the legs dribble, setting it up. And he's going to pass to the center. Down low to the big fella. Backs him down with the left hand to turn around, and he is fouled, and it spins out. He'll shoot two. Wow, that was good defense. Sometimes I always wonder when they go straight up what they're doing, you know? Yeah. Crazy. Good defense, though, like you said. Just I was good defense. Yeah. No, I, I do not. No Palo Italiano, David. No Palo Italiano. <laughs> Joe Lutz says that. That cheat, Chris, how much it done? Oh, oh, you football. Oh, okay, Karam, nice. Yeah, that's really not really. I don't really have a college basketball team. I'm a Sooner football fan, not not so much a basketball fan. But I'll root for them against Virginia. He sinks the first free throw. <laughs> Can he say Mussolini did nothing wrong? Fifty-six, forty-three. Bends the knees. They're trying to go up fourteen. He's taking his time. My God. Yeah, he is. And good swish. 57-43, Vatek leads. Yeah, they bring in uh, some some guy. I think his name was Beatty or something. Yeah. And they're going to sit Robinson. And here comes St. Louis as they lead by 14. Yes. I trail by 14. And they bring yeah. 
be good if they led by 14 for my bracket. <laughs> they need some baskets. They cut it to 10 a second ago, but... Here they go, hard into the lane. Right-hand dribble drive. Layup no good. Rebound. Foul. Didn't get it to go. He'll shoot two. Foreman. Yep. Strong offense rebound by uh, Foreman. You know that's George's son, right? Is it really? I don't know. Maybe it's Chuck Foreman's son. Yeah, it could be. Chuck it looks a little bit like Chuck Foreman. Another guy with Moss. Yeah, look at that Moss, yeah. <laughs> Popped free... in and out on the uh, free throw there. Who's my favorite NBA team? Knicks. I'm a Knicks go, fan. Got to go with the Knicks. I don't even know where the hell my Knicks hat is. I lost that again. That thing just disappears on me. I think Burke took it. I think my kid is trying to make me not a Knicks fan. I think he's hiding my Knicks stuff. <laughs> Second free throw is good. 57-44 as Vatek <laughs> leads by a baker's dozen. Yes. Today's talk moss, says Jedi. What Dentonator is in the house. What is up, Dentonator? Thank you for joining the stream, my man. Dentonator, what's going on, you lunatic? And here we go. 57-44. The Hokies have it up 13. Billikens need some stops. Nice pass. That is gorgeous. That's not how you can stop. That was beautiful. That was a very nice give and go right there. 15-point lead. St. Louis has it. As they trail by 15, they move it around the outside. Tech playing really good defense. Great defense. He just dribbles into a double team, has to kick it back out. 13 on the shot clock, backing his man down. They come with help. Into the lane, and they're going to call a foul. Uh, he started backing down his man at the three-point line. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that all about? I mean, that was a great a great look. Yeah, of course, man. Denton, man we, we get it, man. Everybody gets bit. You, you got it. College comes first. Yeah, of course. I mean, we you can't be in every... Yeah, the booty man. Exactly. The booty man is here, Dire Giants fan. He loves the booties. He does. I mean, I do too. I get it. Yeah, I do get it. I, I definitely get it. And here's the free throw. Good. <laughs> Six of Goat says Moss Madness. Yes, it is. What type of booty do you like? Do you like a nice round one? Or you really like, do you like the, the fit one? Do you like the big old one? Or like a round? Like, what do you like? I, I like them all. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, it don't matter. As long as they're not fat. Right. Like, they got to be in shape. They can be big if they're, if they're in shape. They right. can't be flabby. Like, that's I don't like. You don't like the cellulite. Flabby, yes. You don't like the cellulite. Oh, hell no. I don't want him looking like a golf ball, Chris. Can't have dimples. <laughs> Free throw, and he misses the second. 59-45 as he back-rimmed it. And here comes Vatek as they lead by 14. Six and a half minutes to go. And they set up the offense between the legs dribble. They're going to move the ball around. And here they have it at the top of the key. 16 seconds on the shot clock. And he's going to try to back his man down. What is going on? There it is. Gets it to the key. Fakes the shot. Turnaround jumper is no good. Front-rimmed it. Tough Rebound St. Louis. Yeah, tough shot is right. Good St. Louis has got to start making some baskets. Yeah, right now or never. they got to start hitting some threes. And here we go. Dribbles with the left. Between the legs, dribble. Step back. Three. No good. Back rim. That's... Offensive rebound. Gets it. Goes to the lane. And no good. Rebound, Virginia Tech. Wow. I mean, that's a really tough three. And then he missed. Blew a wide open layup. Got to hit that. Just throw it down. He tried, he tried. I was going to say, he tried to do a little. I hurried it, I guess. Vote Jeff Bezos. Okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> John Morant needs to be a Nick. I don't think either one of us would be uh, upset with that. And there he goes. He's going to hit his man there in the, in the underneath. Layup, no good. Rebound, St. Louis. Here they go. Down 14 with the ball. 522 to go. And yeah, Billick and Z to go on a run here. They definitely do. They just look sloppy on offense. They do. Well, Virginia Tech's defense is just really good. Yeah. There's no penetration at all. Yeah. He, that was the biggest flop if I've ever seen one. Yeah. Tried to pull the chair up from underneath them. And they're going to call a foul on Vatek. He'll be shooting free throws. I think. Or is it on Yeah, one-on-one one coming. Yeah. One-on-one. One. No pancake. Where's my boy Bert? On oh, I don't know where he is tonight. Now you, we're forced to watch a beat. That, yeah, it's still, I mean, it's. It's close. it's within reach. It's it's hanging on the edge. Yeah, they they need like a, a quick seven eight zero run over like a two minute stretch to make it interesting. Yeah, they got to get it to single digits. No. And here we go. Let's see if they can do it. 
And need to make both these free throws without a doubt. They're gonna have to make free throws. And he m missed it. Wow. Yeah. Now, now it's pretty damn close. Five minutes to go. Yeah. Vatek with the ball, up fourteen. Yeah. When you have free points, man, you got to take them. That's their third missed free throw in the last gotta three trips. Yep. And he gets it to him yep. at the top of the key. Faces up the defender. Hands to the cutter. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Pull up jumper. No good. Rebound St. Louis. 4.36 to go. If they're going to do something, they better do it now. Yeah, there hasn't been a point scored in a while here by either team. Been 14 for a while. Yeah, not a lot of action. And here we go. 59-45. Double team in the corner. He's going to give it to him at the top of the key. Faces his man up. Fakes the jumper. He's going to try to back him down. Kicks it back out. He's going to take a three from Guam. Front rimmed it, no good. They tip it back out, and it's going to go out of bounds. It'll be Vatek ball. 4.09 to go. Boy, they can't hit anything. They can't throw it in the ocean. Yeah, this is just bad. Billikens cannot throw it in the ocean. French has a nice moss. He, I'll tell you. That rivals that rivals the other guy's moss from the other game. Big moss, BM. <laughs> BM white. Big, big moss white on uh, UNC. And here we go. 59 45. And it is now or never for St. Louis as they trail by 14. Vatek has the ball. I'll tell you one thing I'm excited about Sunday is we're going to get to call the Duke game. Yes. and Because we didn't get to do it today. And it'll be a good opponent. It won't be a yep. bullshit opponent. And yep. they steal the ball. They're going to try to go coast to coast. And the layup is good. 59-47. St. Louis cuts it to 12. Needed that one. They're going to go a little press it looks like here. 3.39 to go. They get the ball and They're going to try to trap him in the corner. He gets out of it. And they're going to cross the timeline. And they're going to slow things up. They're going to kill some clock. Nearly stolen. I think they call a timeout. Yeah. It was a good, good job by Virginia Tech to get that across the uh, timeline. They will do it. See my left. I'll be right back. Got to hit the latrine. Go right do back. What you got to do is we're watching a shirtless man put on some deodorant, playing some defense in the high school gym. He gets yelled at by the man with a microphone right in his face as he's paused doing sit-ups. As he looks over to the man next to him with sweaty armpits and he gives him a look of disgust. He says, put on some goddamn deodorant. And there's the commercial. And there's the casting couch. The summer wind. Rhino Rimmer. Yeah, Zion's the guy. Zion's the guy. Endgame looks phenomenal, Caesar. Can't wait for that to come out. The second one was unbelievable. A fizzle. It's not fun. Watching beatdowns. It's not fun. I mean, we had to do it all football season. Giants were getting beat down all year. Actually, that's not true. A lot of the Giants games were close. They just lost. Mm. And there's Bad Dog. Mmm. Cannoli. Oh, look at that. You got a mouthful of cannoli. Cannoli. It's not like a good cannoli. No, there's not. Kenny McDougal says he loves me. That's awesome. And he called you Christopher. Thank you so much. That sounds like something your mom will call you. It is. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. Is, that is what she calls me when she's pissed. I figured that's usually with a mother. Mother has to use your full name. Well, only when she was pissed. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, I get the middle name. You know, they, they, she called me by first and a middle name. I don't have and a middle last name. I don't have a middle name. I got a middle initial. Really? Yeah, B. Yeah, just B. Uh, no, the story about my grandfather's name was Baltazar. And my mom refused to name me Baltazar as a middle name, so she said we're just gonna name him B. So my middle name was B. Chris Kenny McDougal, Kenny McDougal, sixty-one and naked. You're sixty-one and naked. Okay, that's probably not good look. Not many people that are sixty-one years old look good. Um, but I hope you look good, man. And uh, crispy, yeah. People in, in elementary school, junior, they used to call me crispy. Crispy, yeah. crispy, Chris. Crispy. Crispy Bacon usually shows up in the stream. We haven't seen him tonight. Yes, Crispy Bacon. We've not seen him. Yeah. Um, well, I, I'll tell you this, uh, Chris. I, I will look good when I'm 61. That's for damn sure. Well, I know that. I, I will I will be jacked out of my skull still. 
without where, a doubt. Where's the game being played? Um, Looking, trying to find it. Does it say da, 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 first round Billikens, Hokies? Doesn't say. Normally it says where it's from. Doesn't show it on there. Did I play? But yeah, I played. High, I played uh, high school basketball, Kenny. I did not. I just played playground basketball. You take Ja over Zion, really, Deveria? Can't go wrong with either one of them. And here we go. Vatek will inbound the ball. All right, Tech, you have a great night, my man. Hopefully you're still alive because we will be doing the Tech game on Sunday, yes. Double team. Virginia Tech gets out of it as they are double team. Gets it to his man in the center. He's got him on the left corner. He's going to back his man down. He's going to pull it back out. 3.18 to go. And I did not play it in tight shorts. I saw the question. Crosses over with his left. He's going to cut to the center. Five seconds on the shot clock. St. Louis needs a stop. Yeah, they do. And Tough they do. three. Wow. They get it. They get the rebound. I, had, I have St. Louis, so I closed the bank on them. I'm not letting them in my bank. <laughs> Bad pass. And Vatek's going to get fouled. 2.58 to go. They'll be shooting free throws. Yeah, you can't throw that. You're, you're right next to him, and you throw the ball in his head. I mean, it's just a – and there's two there's two Billikens right there. I mean, I don't know what they're doing there. Just sloppy. You need to spread the floor better than that. Just sloppy. Yeah. That's why you're 13 seed, and that's why you're going home. Golden got – Golden guy got an orange vanilla Coke. So did I. And he says it's so good. I'd give it a 7. 7 out of 10. Golden God, I looked for uh, an orange Coke. They don't have it at my uh, they don't have it in my supermarket. So I ended up buying cannolis instead. That's better. Oh, I'm with the cannolis. Cannolis are better. I don't, I'd always rather have a cannoli. Yeah, I mean, they're amazing. I love the damn cannolis. I haven't had a cannoli, I haven't had a cannoli in forever. Yes. But all we're talking about, I'm like, I got, I got to get the cannoli. And here's Wabisa Beatty. The first free throw is up, and it is pure. Yeah, Wasabi with a nice shot. <laughs> 60 to 47. I can remember uh, years ago. We were talking 10, 11 years ago. Yeah. Uh, he missed a free throw. Uh, Meet the Mets had to eat Wasabi uh, after he lost a bet. Oh, yeah? I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. Nice pass and the stuff. Six oh, nine. Very he rim a rim rattler. Yeah, that was a nice oh, dunk there by French. Francais with the moss. Francais. <laughs> Senior uh uh yeah, no, um Monsieur Moss with the dunk. S'il vous plaît. What a yes. dunk that was. Hey, Le dunk. <laughs> and they'll be shooting a one and one. I found them early. Some of these college guys look so old, man. Like, he don't look like he's 19 or 20. No, he's like 50. Yeah, it's crazy. This guy got a baby face. Yeah. He looks younger. And he bends the knees, spins the ball in his hand. He's taking his time, too. Free throw's good. Perfect. He didn't even bounce it, right? I didn't notice him bounce the ball once. They usually dribble it. Yeah, I think he was just spinning it. Spinning and winning. Remember what Jason Kidd used to do? He used to blow a kiss at the uh, rim before he'd shoot a free yep. throw. Weirdest thing I've ever seen. <coughs> Jeff Hornacek used to do this to say hi to his family. Here's Crispy Bacon. Speak of the devil. How's that even uh, a rat rimmer? Yes. And here they go. They move the ball around. Three-pointer is no good. Rebound, yep. Vatek. The Hokies that's, have it. That's pretty much game. Yeah, I think we got game here. Billikens made a, a minor run at it, but never got closer than 10. Kid did it because of his wife. Uh, I did not know that Golden God. Didn't he beat his wife, too? So that's ironic. Mm, I didn't know he beat his wife. Yeah, he did He did something. Maybe he did something to his wife. I don't remember what it was. He got, yeah. Yeah, that's, I did not know that. I'm pretty sure he did, but maybe I'm wrong. There's really only one good game here during the 9 o'clock games tonight. Yeah, there's really no point in even calling us at this point. But uh, Fakes the three in the corner, pulls up, hits his man at the key. Floater is no good, gets his own rebound, put back, and they didn't call foul. Could have been. Why, why, would you, why would you put it back so fast? Yeah, that was stupid. I mean, kick it out, melt the clock away. You have a good point. I didn't even think about that. that yeah. yeah. Three-pointer, no good, rebound, Vatek. And yeah. they're not the Bill, gonna get... uh, they didn't make any shots. 
They're not <laughs> they even fouling freeze. at this point. I'm surprised, but yeah, yeah, they're gonna just let it take it. They should. I mean, maybe they won't, but yeah, they gonna let it take out. Um, but, 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 I took Virginia in this game. Yeah, well, good pick. Yeah, and they call a foul. They yeah, foul them good. after all that. As long as my final four is good, I'm good. Yeah, just give me my final four, man. Elite, elite eight and final four, you need to be good. That's I feel a, like when you pick a favorite like Duke, you really do need to do really well in 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 like the eight and the and the four. Yeah, definitely. Uh, where I get my cannoli, Villa Italia, and Villa Napoli. Those are those are two really good Italian bakeries around here. Bella. That's about all. That's about all I know in Italian. Se cosi bella. That's about it. Se cosi bella. I like that. Se cosi bella. Or, say... or se mozzo fiato. Oh, I like that one too. Se mozzo. Tell that to a woman. You'll have melt her heart. What does that mean? Se mozzo fiato means you're breathtaking. Oh God, I gotta say that. Oh yeah, yeah. Or you can just say to him, "Amo tui bellissimi occhi marroni." What's that? I love your beautiful brown eyes. It all works. But what if they have blue eyes? Uh, I forget what blue eyes are. <laughs> I do. I forget what blue eyes are. Uh, you say, I'm a tu labra. What is that? Adoria tu resilicio. I love your smile. I love your lips. How do you know like I love it. <laughs> Three pointer is no good. What else is new? Yeah, no but... one's even in there anymore. This game is toast. Oh my god, he just threw it off his foot. <laughs> so let's see what I'm looking at. Baylor Gonzaga, seven ten. I may do that one. That's all they're showing. I get. I don't know why they're only showing those three games. Oh, that's because it's in Jacksonville. So this game is in Jacksonville. That's that's right. why. So Baylor, that's a decent game. Yeah. Gonzaga should win. Here's the three. No good. Short rimmed it. Has, has St. Louis made a field goal in the last five minutes? Doesn't seem like it. Travel. Oh, my God. He took six steps. If I, I mean, it takes six steps to get a travel club against you. If they foul here, I'm going to be pissed. Just let the clock run out. I don't know. I don't know who wants to be. I learned those phrases because I just wanted to say them when I was younger. Yeah? To where, of course. You talk to them in Italian. I mean, you know. It's a beautiful language. It is a beautiful language. I always wanted to learn it. My mother never spoke it, though. Yeah, neither did mine. my grandmother. My grandmother, she passed away when I was so young. I never knew her. My great grandmother never really taught me, but, but I always knew when she was mad because she would swear in Italian. Well, I don't know if she swore, but she would always yell in Italian. Yeah. I never knew what she was saying, but that's how I knew she was really pissed off. My great grandmother. Yeah, my, my grandparents spoke a little bit, but they weren't like fluent. My great grandparents were from Italy, so. My grand, my grandparents were. And three pointer, no good. And that's Honestly. that's the game. Well, I guess they'll take one more shot, but that's the game, guys. Oh yeah, it's been it's been the game. Yeah, it's been the game. Rick Barry, crazy. Thank you so much for joining the channel. Ahoy, Thanks. ahoy, Sailor. It. Sounds like they're docking for the seas. Ahoy. Again, sound like I blow when I blow my nose. That's what it sounds like. Ahoy. What's a sip? They come from Akron. The Akron zips. Did I rewipe today? I didn't. Thank oh, you. Relax. Oh, we got, we got a slew of joiners. Relax. <laughs> um, but, 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 the Rock could learn Spanish, but um, Italian switch sides in WW one and and World War one and World War two. Okay. No. I actually knew that. Kenny McDougal. Kenny yeah. McDougal comes in, he starts talking about our crotches, and then he then he provides a history lesson. Yeah, it's always good. Uh, yes. That probably was Andy Reid, yes. <laughs> Big truck horn. There's some uh, not-so-good-looking women. Uh, very happy about their Virginia Tech Hokies. It's a good-looking hat. Guy next to him, not so much. That's fake moss. <laughs> uh, that's fake moss. I'm not buying that for a minute. I thought it looked real. <laughs> <laughs> Are they really fouling him? Did they Saint really Louis just foul him? Basket, Chris? We yeah, missed the basket. They just fouled him. Oh, he, oh, he, they did. I was going to say he bowled it. <laughs> I, got, I got excited there. He must be a bowler as well. Why do you foul there? 
I don't know. They want to put Kyler Murray's hair in there. Oh, Kyler Murray's got really good moss too, by the way. He does have good moss. Yeah. That's why you like him. That's a big. That's a big part of it. Yeah. But Odell Beckham's got good moss. You don't like him that much. No, I always liked Odell Beckham. I'm just not on the Giants. I don't have a problem with Beckham. I just don't like his distractions with the Giants. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. If Odell Beckham was like Julio Jones, I'd love him. Of course. You know, but he's not. David Blue. Man. Buffalo ran a rough shot over Arizona State today, too. It's, These games are rough to call when they're bad. Usually they're uh, not. There's, there's a lot of blowouts today. Oregon won by 18. Yeah. Washington won by 17. Wow, there really wasn't good games in the afternoon. No, it wasn't many. Ended up winning by 26. The second round is always much better. Yeah, it is. Houston won by 29. Jesus. Yeah, the, 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 the third and fourth day are always my favorite days of the tournament. Yeah. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, the weekend will be great. Yeah, because you then... It's Sunday. It, I can't wait for Sunday, man. This is freaking awesome. Those are always those good are matchups because 4, 5, 3, 6, you know. Yeah, I like, I like... Both Chris and I agree. We like Golden Tate. Just, there's a lot of years. Yeah, I like Tate, but for, but the thing is they're going to cut him. They're not gonna, he's not going to play those four yeah, years. Yeah, he won't play all four They're years. They're going to cut him. And I think it only carries a $5 million dead cap at after two. So they can easily yeah. cut him after two years. Yeah, and that could that could very easily happen. So. Yeah. At most, he goes three. He's not playing four years as a giant. I'll be surprised. Yeah. I'll be surprised. Pompey's due to erupt in the next 50,000 years? I, I might be alive to see it. Mike D, I actually like the landing spot in terms of system. I think Golden Tate fits the giant system very well. Yeah. But we'll see. It's not see, I'm not calling it a rebuild. I'm calling it a transition for the Giants. Yeah. Because they don't really seem like they're rebuilding. They they seem like they're transitioning. We won't know until after the draft that they're rebuilding. Right. I think if they take Haskins at one at six you could definitely make the argument that they're rebuilding. Yeah. You know, yeah. because if they were trying to win this year, they wouldn't take a quarterback there. True. But they signed Golden Tate. They signed Marcus. Well, Marcus Golden's just holding out a spot. Yeah, it's a one-year contract. Um, that's definitely not the best-looking sideline reporter I've seen. No, I've seen better. Uh, I see. That's they. They, they send the uh, they send the Z reporters to the Billikens and uh, Hokies. <laughs> well, you we know, don't there's, get out of there's so many games. I mean, you know, you need, you need thirty-two different reporters. Yeah, that's true. Well, no, because there's four games in the thing, so you probably need eight. There's I four like games. that, A Fizzle. That's a good uh, recommendation. I might do that. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I'm going to do that. Thank Most you. Most of hung in the streets by communists. All right. Well, I mean, Odell Beckham's a better player by far, but Golden Tate's probably going to be better for the Giants. This is going to be a better teammate, and, you know. I like the tape. poop pee in the poop. I like to. I like the pickup. I don't like the contract. Bad, I love your takes on your uploads and those vids. You seem so rational. Thank you, Mike D. I appreciate. That. I try to be. I always. I always try to be rational and in, in the facts. And I will tell you my opinion. And a lot of times, you know, there's times people don't agree with my opinion, but it's fine. It's my opinion, you know. And I never have a problem with other people's opinions on the Giants. Yeah, I why, welcome. All why, why be on YouTube if you're not going to tell people your true opinion? That's the way I look. Right. It. Yeah. So, but I try to, like I said, I try to be as rational and be as factual as I can. So, Kenny McDougal don't like the commies. Yeah, I don't think we do either. No. You know? I hear you. I hear you. But I think it's time to wrap it up, man. We are, Dominic, you've had a really long day. Yeah, we got to save some energy. I want to thank you for coming on the channel and doing this to me, even though you had a very long day. I appreciate it. Yeah. And uh, enjoy your day off tomorrow. Like I said, I might do one or two games tomorrow. We'll, we'll see when I get home. Um, nothing else. I'll do the late, late game, but you know, I got to do something. Um, which YouTuber do I think has the best moss? MH has got really good moss. Uh, MH has got some serious moss. Uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I like MH's moss. It's nice and thick. Yeah, it's, that's a good head of moss. Yeah. It's a good animal, yeah. but um, and then Sunday, guy, I can't wait for Sunday. Sunday is going to be a lot of fun. 
I will definitely be eating on stream. I'm not. I'm not working from noon until. I think we'll go. I think we'll go live as late as possible. I, I, if the game starts at. 12.30, we'll go live at 12.30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm still not going 12.30 to 12.30 without eating yeah, something. Yeah. It's not happening. And I think we'll close out as early as possible. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, without a doubt, like yeah. immediately after the game. Yeah. Yeah, 12 hours. If you, I'll tell you what, if they don't get sick of us after 12 hours, then that's pretty impressive. <laughs> so anyway, uh, guys, thank you all for joining tonight. Really appreciate it. And uh, I will see you tomorrow, and we will both see you on Sunday for a long day. Hope to see you there. It is Bad Dog. It is the Entertainer. We are signing out. Peace.